How you doing guys? This is Opti and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going through the Evil Within 2 in about 7 hours, doing the Platinum, all trophies and all achievements in that time. We are using the Bethesda cheats on this. I have got a walkthrough for this, a Platinum walkthrough without the cheats, you'll find that link in the description and also a text guide to go along with it. Yeah, but in this one, in this full video you're watching, this will get you every single trophy, but like I say, it's using the cheats. And to enable the cheese, you have to connect a Bethesda account with the your PSN or your Xbox account which you're playing the game with, or PC I guess if you're on Steam. You can do it on the title screen here. You'll see in the top right top right hand corner, and um, there you go, Bethesda.net, and there'll be a little prompt. I mean on PlayStation it's square, you press square and you can make an account. And once you've made an account, guys, and connected it, then you can use the cheese. And all you do to enable them, you come into options, and there you go, infinite stamina, super strength, and invincibility. Yes, yeah, I can't quite believe they've added these cheats. I mean, it was they weren't there on release, they're not accessibility settings. I mean, I know. Makes you wonder, right? But yeah, the, these were added a few, a few, I think it's a few years after release. They added them. I think they also added a stealth indicator as well. Uh, just let you know if you're um, in stealth or not and they also added a first person mode but all we're going to be using is the cheats yeah you got infinite stamina invincibility and super strength which means one hit kill you kill everything in one hit from everything so yeah we're using them guys these are all my settings which you can watch to see how I'm setting it all up what I'm going to be doing is there's a hell of a lot to collect here tons and tons to collect and as well as my text guide for my old guide my old version of this where we did it without cheats which came to about 15 hours actually yeah I've got a text guide for that but I've also got like a check a checklist type guide for this I try and do timestamps in the description I'm not gonna say I will I'll try to do them I try and put time aside to do timestamps things for this game there's gonna be a lot of timestamps now difficulty make sure you start a nightmare very important guys because you need to unlock this trophies the trophies in this are highly missable and there's some which you need to plan from the start of the game all the way sort of like four hours ahead the one the main ones I'm thinking of is the weapons trophy for collecting every single weapon and for crafting everything as well the one for crafting for um, obtaining every single weapon is the ones a lot of players have trouble with uh, that's why you have to play a nightmare because to Unlock the Magnum and the Brass Knuckles, which is countless weapons. You have to play on Nightmare or above. Akuma does work, and by the way, Akuma will not pop the classic difficulty trophy. I've tried it. For those of you that are curious, like myself, yeah, I did try. I did make a new account and go straight into Akuma. It doesn't unlock the classic difficulty trophy. Unfortunately, that's why we have to do two playthroughs. So. The first few chapters guys, it's a sort of like intro, there's not really much happening. There is going to be one or two collectibles, I'll point them out as we go through. Uh, but yeah, this first few chapters, I'm just going to take the time, just give you a little explanation. Just go into a bit more detail what we're going to be doing um, along the way. So, cheats. So I don't need to talk about combat with you at all. Well I hope not. You're invincible, you can kill everything in one hit, and you've got infinite stamina. So I'm not going to talk about combat. I'm just trying to keep this strictly to trophy, trophies and anything related to them. Um, so yeah, you got files to collect. There's 40 files. You got to collect slides. There's 11 slides. You got to collect these sort of um, resonances, which are sort of like memories. There's 24 of them, if I'm remembering right. Uh, you got to get all your weapons. I think there's 20 weapons all together. Uh, you got to craft everything. I'm not sure exactly how many things there are to craft, but we will craft everything. Um, one thing I will say, just while I'm talking about crafting, which is good to know beforehand, there's a sniper rifle, and a sniper rifle is one of the only weapons which you can find, already made, and which you can also craft yourself. Now what will happen, if you find it already made, you're unable to craft it, because you've already got it. And that will basically lock that save file, It'll lock, it'll 
basically make it so it will void the trophy for collecting every single weapon. I think it's powerhouse, uh, sorry for crafting every single weapon. Yeah, it will basically void that trophy. Because you found the sniper rifle, you can no longer craft it. And so you will not be able to get a trophy for crafting every single item. So be careful of that one, guys. We actually get the parts for sniper rifle in the second playthrough, not the first playthrough. We're going to be doing new game, new game plus up to chapter 6 and then classic difficulty which will be one full playthrough basically starting from fresh but on a different difficulty yeah but because we're getting sniper rifle parts in new game plus you might come across a fully built sniper rifle if you do do not pick it up that's very 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 important and crucial piece of advice I need to give you everything else I'll sort of let you know along the way but when it comes to sniper rifle just in case I forget to mention it or you you do your own thing for a little bit and you come across one. Do not pick it up guys, very important. Do not pick up any sniper rifles. Yeah, so that's that out of the way guys. Um, when it comes to um, collecting materials, we do have to fully upgrade everything for a trophy. Fully upgrade our character abilities. Open every locker. Oh yeah, there's 40 keys as well you need to collect for the lockers. Um, we're gonna have to fully upgrade all our weaponry as well. Because of that, we have to collect a lot of just materials to upgrade with. Um, but in New Game Plus, you actually get 10 times the weapon parts and 3 times the green gel. So it's more effective to try and collect as much as you can in New Game Plus. But because we're only going up to Chapter 6 in New Game Plus, you have to try and get a, you have to get a little bit in New Game, especially when it comes to high grade weapon parts and red gel. There, you've got your basic materials, but you've got your rarer materials, and you need some of them to upgrade your weapons as well. But it's only like a limited amount. That it, it's I forget the exact numbers, but it's probably, for example, it's about 12 high grade weapon parts and 12 red gel throughout the whole game, and you need, for example, 15 of each. So we have to get almost all of them in new game, and then we get a few in new game plus up to chapter six. So it's very important you don't miss any of them as well if you do miss some of guys it's not the end of the day you can just go a bit further in new game plus to collect what you missed or if you do miss a file or something you can get that in new game plus or when you do classic difficulty run you can do things in classic difficulty because classic difficulty we're basically going to go through the whole game just to complete it and get the ending trophy for completing the game on classic difficulty that's the only reason so anything you've missed and you need a full playthrough to get it you can do it on classic difficulty as long as it's not nothing related to upgrades so here guys it's your first collectible it's a slide yeah photographic slide that's the one off 11 I won't be talking for the full thing the last playthrough classic I'm not going to talk for any of that at all um, but it's first playthrough new game plus I will be talking but if we get into the guide and um, there's not going to be anything to do for a few minutes other than follow the story I'll probably go quiet until the next bit and you'll hear me chime in. But whenever it's something important guys you will hear me talking. So you're going to play this in the background or at the side of yourself when you're playing. Just listen out for my voice and whenever you hear that you know there's something of importance and you need to look at the screen. So first collectible guys we just picked it up and when you actually first come in the police station then you have to look at the um, notice board on the right when you first spawn in uh, because otherwise that will not progress the story. So you spawn in, you check out the uh, investigation board on the right, I guess, and then you go in the office, pick up the slide, and then come through here. Yeah, not really much to collect in this first bit. The next thing we'll be picking up is going to be a file. Uh, there's three files in this area. Yeah, chapters one, one and two, not really much is happening. These are more like your prologue sort of areas. Um, yeah, so I've explained most of it, guys, what you need, what you're looking for what to expect um, anything which is good to know going forward in case you do decide to um, do your own thing for a little bit so I'll come back perhaps in a few minutes in fact I don't need to because there's a file literally through this door so yeah you come through here guys through this next door this will be file number one of 40 this is going to be photo of William Baker Yeah, you'll see him here frozen in time. And all we're going to do is swing a left, go to the doorway on the left. It'll take you into like a little photo room. 
and then there's your first file on screen you'll see come on screen what number file it is sort of if it's number file number two or file number three uh, you also see a name so photo file number one guys photo of William Baker there you go that's one of 40 this is all in my little collectible checklist you'll find in the description guys so if you just want to go through that and just sort of keep an eye out and you can look in your inventory from time to time if you just want to have a little double check make sure you're on track yeah so that's first file guys so we should have one slide so far and um, one file and they come this day, this day well there's going to be another file in here soon this will be extravagant letter file number 2 of 40 yeah for the most part I know what I'm doing but you may see me occasionally run down the wrong path for like a, a second or two yeah so I've got a lot to remember and sometimes I just misremember things but for the most part guys I am doing this pretty well yeah there's a file here just trying to remember yeah so here crouch beneath here guys on this table this is it 2 of 40 extravagant letter yep and carry on a bit more guys and I'll pick it up once we get near the next collectible I gotta find a way out of here. And we've got another file coming up here, guys. This will be file number three of 40, the photo of another victim. So once you come into this sort of second stairwell, go right before you actually start climbing the steps, open the door, come into the start room, and he's file, guys. To use your torch, I think it's circle if you're on PS4. Uh, sorry, or PS5 on PlayStation, pretty much. Yeah, so grab that file, guys. And then continue through the story a little bit more.
Yeah, this is pretty funny. I mean, this ripsaw lady, she's supposed to kill you, like instant kill you. But because of the cheat, she can't harm you. She's completely harmless. You still have to run away. <laughs> yeah, you still have to run away. Yeah, but the, uh, uh, there are a few bits where you can still die, even though you've got cheats. Even though you're invincible. It's mainly, there's there's two parts in the game. I mean, there's another part similar to this where you're being chased, where you can be killed. Uh, but there's two parts where there'll be, you'll get grabbed and you have to quickly shoot something in order to make it release you. And if you don't shoot it quick enough, it will instant kill you. And yeah, probably like, it's probably about three parts in the game you can be instant killed, um, even with the cheats on. So yeah, but I, I will point them out to you guys because you need to know them for your classic difficulty when it comes to it. And uh, one other thing I say is um, 52 trophies in this, right? Yeah, we get 50 of 52 in New Game and New Game Plus in this first playthrough. So in classic difficulty, you just have 51 to get, and then obviously 52 will be platinum, which will pop after getting 51. Yep, so um, carry on a bit more, guys. Hide from uh, Rips or Lady, and yeah, you'll eventually end up in a spooky house. Gotta be kidding me. Here we go, something to do finally. So once you come in here, pick up the syringe off a table, just to refill your health, just so you can start running a bit quicker. Yeah, just grab it and use it. Because you have to craft everything for a trophy, you'll find you can't actually craft anything until you've picked it up for the first time. In here, guys, is a file. Yep, that's four of 40, journal in abandoned house. Yeah, so you know exactly where that one came from. And then once you try to leave, you're going to get a new weapon, semi-automatic handgun, which will count towards the weapon trophy. And you'll also get another file, guys, photo of the Castellanos family. That'll be file number 5 of 40. And you also got your first trophy here as well. Welcome to Union, took the plunge back into STEM. So carry on a bit more down the street, guys, and I'll pick it up once we meet a bunch of enemies. Not the first set we're going to meet, but the second set afterwards. What did I get myself into? Kidman? Sebastian. What? Don't worry, Sebastian. It's just a small, quiet town. Yeah. Too quiet. Hello? Hey! Oh, God. Now. 
Mobius members. Some of them are still alive then. Damn. But those things are so once you get control back down here, guys, you can just go into stealth for a moment, let that enemy go behind the car, and then come down here. You can grab a herb here, that's your first herb, and grab the bottle. A bottle actually counts as a weapon. Yeah, that counts as one of the weapons, and a lot of guides don't really know that, or advice. Uh, but all we need to do now is get to that door ahead. Now you can just run at enemies and melee them. You don't have to stealth kill like I did. I'm just trying to not to alert too many, because if you do, loads of them will swarm you. And um, you can't actually unlock that door ahead if those enemies chasing you because they'll keep grabbing you off it. So I'm just trying to get to the door a bit quicker so I don't have to keep killing all the enemies. But if you do get seen, it don't matter, guys. Just want to, just want to get through this door, grab that herb, and grab the bottle, which we did. There is a trophy for getting 10 stealth kills, stomping on enemies 15 times and killing them that way. Don't worry about all of them. I'm going to take you through every single trophy. I've got perfect ways to do everything. If you look at, if, for an example, if you look at lot of guides, they would advise for you to do stealth kills sort of separately. But you can imagine going for one stealth kill can take like 20 seconds. You know, as you're crouching, sneaking up to the enemy, waiting for the enemy to turn around, getting closer to it, and they're doing a stealth kill. It could take potentially over 10 seconds, right? But we're going to be getting all 10 stealth kills in 10 seconds. Literally that quick. We're going to use an item, then it's going to be stealth kill, Stealth kill, <laughs> stealth kill, literally that quick. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, but that'll be near the end of this first playthrough. Yeah, near the end of this first playthrough. Um, so we're near. You're going to meet your first friendly NPC outside of story cutscenes. Yep, O'Neill. So yeah, talk to O'Neill. And what you want to do in the safe house first, you want to get the weapon parts. There's going to be weapon parts times 15 in here. Yep, grab them, very important guys, that's the materials, all this material is going to matter. And the weapon parts of that shelf. So that's 15 and 10. So grab them, two stacks of weapon parts and that's it. When it comes to materials used for crafting ammo and stuff guys, I do collect a little bit along the way, but try not to use that. Uh, because you are going to use certain materials for crafting things later, for the crafting trophy. And I just get a little bit, I just get bits and bobs along the way and then they're going to come in useful later. All you want to do to kill enemies is melee them. Just melee them or use your handgun if you want to. You can just run up to them and press R2 to melee them. If you do use your handgun and you run out of bullets, you can spare a bit of gunpowder. I do get a lot more gunpowder than what we do actually need. And by all means, feel free anyway to get anything which I don't. All I'm saying is if I advise you to collect something, try not to use it. Yeah, try not to use it. A bit of gunpowder, like I say, you can spare a bit of gunpowder. I do collect a bit more than what we need. But anything else, do not use it on their side advice. And when it comes to the keys, do not use any keys. We need to save them all for New Game Plus. Very important. Yeah, do not unlock any lockers. Right, so you've got another weapon parts on that crate, guys. That's weapon parts 15. Yeah, just run past all these enemies. We do not need to worry about them. They cannot damage you, remember. So let's sprint up here, or kill him if you want to. At the end, once we've upgraded everything by the way, green gel, we have about 135,000 remaining. So we do actually get plenty of green gel. Uh, but when it comes to weapon parts, I have about 650. So we don't have much of that left. Well, it's actually 150, um, but I do leave 500 in the shooting range. So 150 on a person, but there is 500 more just next to us and I'm not sure what happens here I tried I don't know what I, I don't know I've got no excuse for that just me being crap I guess all he had to do was run across a plank and for some reason he jumped down but yeah we need to get to the top of that roof to um on the corner I could have edited that out but I'll just let you I'll let you see how bad I am sometimes yeah but on the corner of this roof is your first mysterious object yeah that's a mysterious weapon replica there's eight of them. Yeah, there's eight of them, guys. I think you can view them in the options. They're actually, you find them inside your office, back in this day, back in the police station. You go into the mirror to reach there, by the way. Yeah, you actually find them back in your office, where you started chapter two. They're all on display, so you can sort of tell how many you have. Yeah, but that's number one of eight, guys. Mysterious weapon replica. And if you do reload any saves for any reason, if we collected anything after that save, make sure you collect it again, which is very important. 
Yeah, in here, guys, you got a fuse. You got weapon parts again. You got a metal pipe. And in here, you got a file. Yep, this is file number 6 of 40, the KCPD. Request for psychological evaluation. And then once you've got that, you're going to come in here and you're going to try to tune the TV in to the football he's playing. Oh, it's a hospital drama. Yeah, watching ER, looks like it. I've never watched that. Ever. These are back in the old days. If any of you have played the first game. Yeah, flashbacks. There's a lot of trauma involved in these series. Hell of a lot of trauma. He's a troubled man, good old Sebastian. Yeah, and here, guys, you've got another file. That should be 7 of 40 torn psychological evaluation report. That's the top part. Yeah, so you interrupt, you go to the back door in the garage, get a file, come in here, interrupt the TV, and you get that file. And you need to go into that back corridor, see the um, shadow ahead, make, wait for it to disappear, and then come to the kitchen and wait for that shadow to dis disappear in the kitchen. And then once you've done them, this dialogue should trigger. And then eventually, once this dialogue is finished, this door should unlock, give you access to the bathroom. Just hold it in a little bit longer, you can manage. Yeah, we do not want any little turtle heads popping out. Yeah, eventually you should be able to open the door. You might have to look at the TV again like I just did. Yeah, there's not there's not too much like this. This is some related to the story. This is sort of optional, I guess, just to give you a bit more side story. But you have to do this for a for them collectibles which you've got. And I think you get you get red gel from this. You get red gel and uh, there's a slide we get as well. But yeah, eventually you can get to the bathroom. There'll be some, a little message on the mirror which has been left for you. There you go. Remember this door opens outwards. You cannot, you cannot keep me here. Are you still watching? Then I've... I have, haven't I? You're still here. Yeah, just carry on along here, guys, and um, you'll catch this wheelchair guy at the end. And um, on the wheelchair, it's not a guy, it's actually a slide. This is slide number 2 off 11. Yep, so that's 2 off 11, guys, which we need. And then once you pick that up, yeah, you get a bit of a headache. I was going to say it's from ice cream, but I, I think I've said that enough in a previous game. Yeah, you get a headache. And then just carry on, eventually you'll be back in the house where we first entered. And then there should be a corpse ahead of you. With the harpoon stuck in his groin and um, red gel beside him. Interrupt this body in this puddle here. And um, yeah, that should finally walk you back to the house. Finally. There's, there's quite a few flashback scenes like this. Not, not many, all, all in all. I think about five. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, these multiple arms will pop up from the puddle and uh, pull you into it. You'll end up on your face, so just pick yourself up, guys. Peel, peel yourself off the floor. And you see that red gel ahead? We want that red gel. Altogether, you need 11 red gels for all the upgrades. That will be red gel number one. Yep, yeah, you can grab the harpoon from the corpse. And take the phone call, could be important. Oh, it's just Zona Kidman, let's hang up on her again. Yeah, so once you've done that, kick the door down, and then go right, guys. And now we're gonna just carry on the story a little bit until we get outside the fuel station and around the back.
these lilies? Lily! Are you here? It's Dad. Oh, where did she go? Lily. It's okay. It's me. Damn it. All right, calm down. How do I get in there? Lily's doll. She's been here. <laughs> Lily. Oh my god, she's in trouble. Someone is chasing her. I should check out around back. See where that window comes out. <laughs> Where did you run off to? Huh? What the? Another signal. Good. Yeah, once you get round to the back of the pit stop, Just hang once you get control back after that story. Uh, just come into this corner and you'll see a statue. Smash that statue because it's got a key inside. Yeah, the keys, they're actually inside statues which you have to break. There's 32 keys all together and that's key number one. But like I say, do not unlock any lockers. We want to save the lockers for New Game Plus because then the green gel and the weapon parts you find in there, you'll be getting 10 times the weapon parts and three times the green gel. But if you open them in New Game, you're going to miss out on a lot. So. That's why we leave them guys, just in case you just wanted a bit of information why we're doing that. Um, but carry on down here afterwards. You don't have to kill them two enemies, which I just did. I just killed them because sometimes they'll keep attacking you as you're running down this hill. And it'll interrupt your animation, it gets a bit annoying. Sometimes it's best, just kill them. Uh, but on here, you got a statue. If you can somehow reach it. Yeah, that would be key number 2 or 32. Just smash it, pick up the key. And then carrying on down here a bit more guys and we're going to find a little mirage of Lily. Let's try this again. After examining the blood stain on the wall, and um, Lily, Lily will run off again, and we can pick up that green herb. I just picked up a green herb. Did you see that? And you'll get shown where she might be next. So what we do then? We come out here, sort of go right, and we're going actually going west. And this house here, smash a statue on the porch, and that'll be key number three of thirty-two. Yeah, I'll just show you on the map briefly for that one. So that's where that one is, just because that one's quite hard to tell where it is. And then we're going to come in there, guys, the auto repair shop. The door magically open for you. Welcome. Yep, the fuse here on the left, pick it up. Yeah, if the door opens for you by itself, you probably shouldn't enter it. But we've got cheese, so we're going to be good. Yeah, on that shelf there, it's weapon parts. And then on this panel, guys, you want to flick up the second and the fourth switch. So it's down, up, down, up. Um, from left to right come back in here After doing that kill that enemy because otherwise there's actually a memory down here but If you don't kill that enemy It's going to interrupt you interacting with the memory because you can't interact with memories when there's enemies nearby So just kill that enemy and then come to this little crawl space 
You pick up the metal pipe on that barrel. Yep, and they're coming here. This can be first re resonance. This is number one of 24, guys. Yeah, that green gel, you always get that when you do one of these, a residual memory. So that's one of 24. Yeah, that green gel, it's 500. You always get one of them whenever you unlock a new memory. So yeah, that's where that came from, if you're wondering. Carry on through this crawl space afterwards. There'll be a door lock on here. The code for this is 9676. You can see it on screen, 9676. Then come into this room, grab the handgun bullets, grab the medical good kits, grab the weapon parts, and also grab the high grade weapon parts, very important. That's one of 16 which we need all together. Yeah, that medical kit you picked up, you want to use it, but do not pick up any more. And then come in here guys, pick up the weapon parts on the left and the nails. And then on the right is a file. Yep, that's number 8 of 40, report 592, the disposal report. Once you pick it up, climb the ladder, and there will be like a trip wire. Once you trip it, another wire will appear just in front, there you go. Just walk up to it and press X to grab the explosive bolt. Come over here, grab the explosive bolt off that shelf ahead. You see that one? And then press a key on the forklift just to raise it. So we're going to crouch beneath that in a second. And then just run back and get the weapon parts off here. You could get the weapon parts before and just camp and just wait near the forklift when it raises its load. Or just go and get them now. And then come over here, guys, to push this yellow car out of the way. Yeah, I just edited it uh, briefly there, very briefly, because I ran the wrong way for a second and I didn't want to waste. 10 seconds of your time which is not necessary yes yeah, so just carry on down here to the south basically to where the lily objective is taking you to and you find another sort of shadow here examine it and you'll see a mirage again she'll run away and make some funny kiddie noises and what she'll do now she'll eventually lead you into the, the massive warehouse in the sort of middle yeah, here you actually have to go and follow her footprints. Don't look at the um, white like aura behind. just behind the car. That white patch behind which is glowing. You actually just want to interact with her footsteps beneath the car. You'll find her hiding. And she'll run, up, run away over there. But what we're going to do just now, we're going to head over here, guys. This is to the west. She we are going, yeah, to the girl. west. You're going to find these trains. Lots of good places to hide in there. And you want to go in this train. And then go left and take, well, so, sorry, go straight on. So you leave the train and then go left. You'll find this locker key. That's where I am. So I'm actually in between the trains at the moment. Smash that statue to get locker key number 4 of 32. And then come to this train. Go left. Now see them in crates ahead. If they've not spawned, if there's no crates there, you need to reload checkpoint to make them appear. It's some sort of glitch. And up here, guys, is a mysterious object, number two off eight. Yes, yeah, so pick that one up. That's a mysterious mask. But yeah, it counts as one of the mysterious objects. And you want to come down here, smash these crates, and um, inside these trains, yep, yeah, you're going to find smoke powder, weapon parts, and high grade weapon parts as well. So that should be high grade weapon parts number 2 of 11, at the, sorry 2 of 16 at the moment. Yeah but like I say if them crates do not appear you need to reload checkpoint. It's a glitch which of course hasn't been fixed. But yeah it's quite weird. That happens to me a lot. Almost every time I come here them crates are never there. I always have to reload checkpoint. This is probably one of the first times they've actually been there. So it's quite a common glitch. Honestly, almost every time I, I play this, some crates are missing. I have to reload checkpoint and then they spawn in. Uh, but once you get here, guys, tread will truck in. Run past the enemies, grab them weapon parts on the left. Do not kill them enemies. Just come in here, stand in this oil. See this oil on here, or this fuel? Now you want to wait till there's two or more enemies in this pool of oil with you. And then you want to shoot it. And then once you kill two enemies with oil, like we just did then, you'll get a trophy, kick, shoot, burn. Yeah, for killing two enemies with oil, all you have to do is get two enemies on the oil, shoot it to ignite it, and then once it kills them, you get a trophy, guys. If you didn't get it, you can reload checkpoint, or you'll get another chance later. 
But if you do it now, it gets it all out of the way and it's nice and easy there as well. And then all we do guys, we break into that um, fence behind, pull the circuit breaker to open the shutter door and um, then we come around here. This lorry, lift the back, climb inside, grab the gunpowder and also grab another mysterious object. This is the mysterious machine, that's number three off eight. Yep, into this warehouse, just raise the door using the lever. Just on the crater head should be a fuse. Shit. Yep, just there. These fuses, we need them, um, we're gonna have to use them because we're gonna have to craft a lot of shock bolts later. Yeah, a lot of shock bolts. So um, that's where you're gonna come in useful. Yeah, everything I collect, don't use. If you wanna craft other things, then collect additional materials to what I get. Yeah, so here all you do, you pull off that um, wooden plank, then you can crouch beneath it. Yeah, follow this guy around the corner, and eventually he's going to lead you up into, well, past him. There's going to be some rooms up ahead with some more goodies inside, and to progress the story. Yeah, grab them handgun bullets just in that crawl space. make way up this ladder so once you get up the ladder first room on your left it's going to have high grade weapon parts three of 16 there's going to be a workbench now you want to just interrupt with this workbench and then cancel because you cannot craft anything on the move until you've interacted with a workbench for the first time so grab the high grade weapon parts grab the file guys that's nine of 40 report six five four core displacement and then grab the shock bolt from there yeah I didn't do it then. Oh yeah, and there's a weapon here as well, guys. This is the sword of shotgun. You need this. Nice. I'll take it. Yeah, well, I didn't quite do it then, but yeah, you should have interacted with the workbench, like I say, just to make it so you can craft on the move. So we're gonna need that for later. Yeah, so pick up the doll, and there's gonna be a bit of story, guys, and then just make your way back outside the warehouse. The murder with the camera. And the son of a bitch has my little girl. I was so close. Damn it. Calm down. Think. I gotta save her. No more signals coming into this communicator. I need to find another way. O'Neill. Not sure I can trust him. But he wants out of here as bad as I want to find Lily. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Once you get control back here, guys, you just gotta quicker get out. You don't have to kill them. You can kill them if you want, but you don't need to. Um, but I'm just gonna run past them. I'm gonna grab weapon parts on the way. Yep, just here. Grab these weapon parts and go over to this yellow trolley. You can you can move this trolley back, or you can just climb on it where it is. Stand on the corner, and you'll just get the prompt to jump onto these containers. It's a little bit finicky, like I say, you're supposed to move the cart. But this is just a way to do it without moving the cart. Yep, and there it is. Yep. And then just come across the wooden plank. And that should get you out of that area, guys. 
You can kill them if you want to, that's another way to do it, and that will open the main gate if you kill them instead. Shit, lost him again. Hope I can reach O'Neill this time. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. You're still So we've got a trophy there guys, taken, saw a chilling vision. And um, we're also, it's now picking up the crossbow guys. You need this via the story, otherwise you cannot unlock this door later, which you need to progress. Yeah, so pick up the crossbow. I picked up that gunpowder as well on the side there. Good to see you again, that's a trophy you'll get. You can pick up the two harpoons as well. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna lure all the enemies into this water and then we're gonna use the shock boat. You can grab the weapon parts as well, just beside it. You see there, I've got 15. Yeah, so do not kill these enemies. There's water here, lure them into the water, and then once they're all here, you're gonna shoot a shock bolt. And then what that will do, it'll knock them down, you'll get a trophy, but it'll knock them down as well, and then you want to stomp on them by running up to them and pressing X. There's a trophy for stomp killing 15 enemies. So we're just gonna do, do four now, four or so, three or four, three or four it should be. And then we'll do the rest in New Game Plus very, very easily. Yeah, so you might get double slapped. So, yeah, prepare to be slapped in the face. Yeah, but once you're all in the water, you get a trophy, shock therapy. As long as you've done so many. And you want to go and stomp on them, like so, guys. Just run up to them and press X, stomp on their ass. But the gas guy, it doesn't knock him down, unfortunately. So, you can either just give him a punch or just leave him and you want to run back to O'Neill's safe house. I'm going to finish this um, this chapter, guys. Begin chapter four. There is a side quest here. Um, for those of you that play this, you'll know about the side quest. And you might be wondering, why am I not doing the side quest now? Because there's a trophy connected to it, right? Well, the reason being is because when you complete a side quest, it rewards you with 150 weapon parts. But New Game Plus, that would be 1,500. And because we have to come through this chapter anyway, on New Game Plus, I just do it on New Game Plus. Like I say, it, it swaps them. 150 weapon parts for 1,500 and that's a crazy amount once back here guys if you haven't already just interact with the workbench just so it becomes craftable on the quick menu that's it just interact with it and then quit out and then here you want to sort of pick up everything so you got handgun bullets there then you want to interact with this coffee machine there's a trophy for use in every coffee machine yeah there's seven coffee machines in total so this will be first one, one of seven. These, I think this is the only collectible which isn't tracked anywhere. There's no way to tell other than just try to remember. And then once you're done guys, talk to O'Neill and he's gonna give you a gas mask. Where's this? All marked, looks like once you're in stat should take. You could have told. Maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. The passageways are still intact, but the collect. My communicator, you'd never make it through alive without this. Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Thanks for saving the worst for last, O'Neill. Based on what we've seen so far, you're not helping anything. After getting that, chapter four should begin. Grab all these items. You've got shotgun shells, handgun bullets, gunpowder, and metal pipe in that rucksack. And a fuse as well. And then we'll head back out into the street, guys. So now we're just going to get a few more collectibles, which we missed. There, like I said, there's a few other things we're leaving in this area. We're going to do them on New Game Plus, like O'Neill's side quest, for example, which I've already mentioned. Yeah, a few other things. We're heading to the church now. We should just be in time for Sunday Mass. Yep, O'Neill's getting married to one of the gas monsters. Yep, ambush the priest. Won't be very happy. Oh, it looks like they were having a funeral service for one of their dead friends. Yeah, pick up the key from the statue behind. That should be key number 5 or 32. 
pick up the herb, and then get out of the church. Yeah, with the priest closed, yeah, I think the church is going to be closed for the foreseeable future. Yeah, so jump out the window. I think the front door might be locked. No, it's not locked, but just jump out the window so it's quicker. And then we're going to run down the street, guys, and then we're going to enter one house. It'd be the house which I enter. There's something in the end of the house, but like I say, we're going to do that in New Game Plus. But this one, it's for... Throughout the game, they see sort of side quests, but they all connect to each other in a way. Uh, they, I think it's called the Enema sequence. You have to trigger every, all of them in one playthrough uh, for the trophy to pop. There's a trophy connected to it. It pops on chapter 10, I think, or chapter 11. Yeah, we're coming here, guys. 336 Cedar Avenue, so you know if you're on the right house. Come into the lounge and uh, pick up the woman's journal from off the desk. That should be file number 10 or 40. And then once you picked it up, try to head back to the front door. You'll get ambushed. Yeah, chair, the furniture does not want to let you leave. And then turn around and you'll see this dark shadowy figure. Yeah, you spawn here. So this is another thing. It, it, this can instant kill you, but with invincibility, it can't. Luckily for us. So now you're just going to get through this quickly, this part. You have to grab a key card, I believe, if I remember right. Unlock a door, and then just unlock that door and get on through. And then just after the sequence, there's going to be a slide. But like I say, you have to do all these sequences, um, because if you don't do the one before, the one after it will not happen. And that's how it works. And obviously, you get all the way to the last one, and that's what will pop the trophy. Yeah, let's get a key card from this drawer, guys. And then just make your way back outside this sequence of memory. Once back in Cedar Avenue. You're going to grab the slide. Yeah, it's another photographic slide on the table where the file. I'll say where the file was. So it just spawns there. That should be slide number three off 11. So pick it up. And you can head out the front door now, guys. Yep, you're not going to be ambushed again, don't worry. Yeah, so now we're going to head to the north and save house. Uh, the shutter door will be locked, and you actually need the shock boat because you have to shoot the panel with a shock bolt to give it electric and to start the generator which will raise the shutter so you can get access. If you don't have any shock bolts there should be one leaning beside the panel. Uh, what I do on the way you might want to just kill that gas zombie with your pistol because if you get too close it will summon its friends like so and it means more enemies you have to waste time killing. Yeah so that panel shoot a shock bolt to unlock the garage door pick up the shock bolt beside it Yep, and then head inside once you're ready. This is what happens if you don't kill that gas zombie quick enough, it will alert more enemies. Uh, but come into the garage once it's open, grab the weapon parts guys, and then grab this second memory in the corner. This one you need to make sure all the enemies are dead, because otherwise you'll not be able to get this memory. Yeah, but that memory should be 2 of 24, get that before you come into this room. Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. Uh, so here guys, once you get in this safe house, There'll be a little call on the um, walkie-talkie. Interrupt this coffee machine on the left. That should be coffee machine 207. I know we've only just had one. We can never get enough coffee. Caffeine should keep it going. Yeah, so have that. Yeah, no need to wash your cup. Yeah, playing it rough. Yeah, but then over here, guys, you've got another file. You can pick up gun the gunpowder. And then pick up the file number 11 or 40, report 122 recruits. Yeah, pick up the smoke bolt, we're going to need that later. And then save your game. You might want to save your game just sometimes, just in case you don't do have to reload an early save in case your game bugs, or so you realise a few time. chapters later that you missed some earlier. Yeah, so you can make regular saves if you want to. I don't make, do it too many times, uh, but you want to yeah, make regular saves when you can. Once you're in the entrance, 
if you turn right you should find some handgun bullets and weapon parts in like a, a open attached case you know in the Mara operations right now yeah over there yeah handgun bullets and weapon parts pick them up then head outside now in the operations room you're gonna find a, a file this will be file number 12 of 40 email union growth chat notice board well a map it's on the computer that's it just below it there you go examine that to get that file like I say number 12 grab them weapon parts off the shelf yep then what we've got to do now guys we've got to make yourself into like a big square chamber and you've got to do like a little puzzle on the wall where you've got to rotate the analog sticks and make the wave line up and then once you've done that the room's going to lock down and you've got to kill loads of enemies now you cannot go anywhere until you killed all the enemies and because you can't really go anywhere yet you can loot these guys if you want to there's a few rooms connected to this with a few materials inside I don't bother looting them but if you want to you can do yeah just kill these enemies loot the enemies just for like about probably two or three thousand green gel and then once this door unlocks guys head through put on your gas mask and I'll see you in the gas tunnels emergency lockdown deactivated please wait for system reboot of each annex stand by recreation area emergency lockdown disengaged please wait while system reboots <laughs> Research wing emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Security Annex Emergency Lockdown is engaged. Please wait while system reboots. Jesus, the smell. So this is the dreaded get thanks O'Neill. I'd never make it through without this thing. Flammable. Damn. That means I can't rely on my firearms. Once you get in the gas tunnel, just ignore the enemy for now. Turn left at the fork. Uh, at the end, there's a statue with a key inside. There should be key number 6 of 32. Yes, yeah, smash him, pick up the key. Head back and kill the enemy with your knife, the gas zombie. There you go. And then take the other fork now, which you missed earlier. It should take you into like a control room with a fuse box. For this fuse box, you need to flick up 1, 2, and 4. You can grab that fuse beside it. 
one times fuse. Yeah, so flick up one, two, and four. Yep, or flick everyone up except for three, you could say. Yeah, once you've done that, head back and you should have unlocked the door now. In a second, once you've taken off your gas mask, you're going to climb a ladder, and at the top, there's going to be a computer with another file on it. This will be number file 13 of 48, Thank email, God. expansion, and data goals. And then shortly after that, you're going to go through a crawl space and you're going to find another resi residual memory. This should be memory number three of 24, guys, trapped in the mara. Yeah, so just on this computer over here, it's that file I was talking about. Yep. There you go, 13 of 40. And then just carry on upwards, guys. Eventually you'll come in this door. Yeah, we've got another res um, residual memory here, guys. Yeah, so um, make sure you take that memory. Yeah, that should be number three of 24. And then just follow this crawl space, guys, and it will take you to the next part. Here it is. My way back into Union. Once get into the safe house, it's time for another coffee break. So that will be number three of seven when it comes to the coffee machines. And then once you drank that guy's gonna get another red gel. This will be red gel two of eleven, which we need. And then just carry on following me guys until we get back outside, where chapter five should begin shortly after. But there'll be a locker key to get first. Yeah, so grab this guys and then make your way outside. The red gel. Once outside, grab the key behind the building. Yeah, smash the statue. That should be seven key number seven of 32. Carry on over here and you see that gazebo just on the left. Inside there, it's gonna be memory number four of 24. But just as you approach it, there'll be a brief scene where you'll lose control for a second. And that should signal the beginning, guys, of chapter five, lying in wait. Yes, yeah, so after this, guys, just grab that memory like I say, four of 24 from Gazebo, and then carry on forward and grab the file on the fence, which you need to, to progress. Fuck is that? Another beautiful day. I know you're not to this. You should also get a new file here, file number 14 of 40, photo of Sebastian. That's automatically story related, you can't miss it. And what we're going to do now guys, we're going to get an optional trophy. Make sure you do this now, if you don't do this now, you can do it in classic difficulty. Um, I just do it now, just so when we do classic, there's no other trophies, except for completing it. Um, so, there's two trophies to get here, one is for killing this enemy, and then entering city hall by the front door. And the other trophy is for leaving this boss alive and going around the back. Now what we're going to do right now, we're going to leave the enemy alive and take the back door. And then later, we're going to kill this enemy on New Game Plus because we have to come up to Chapter 6. And then it's going to give us three times 
the green gel it drops. I think it normally drops 5,000. It sounds like a lot, but like I say, at the end of upgrading all abilities, we're going to have over 130 remaining. That's if you do only what I do. And I'm sure you're going to grab a few more things along the way. Yeah, so that 5,000 ain't really going to matter. So yeah, we run, leave him alive, run away from him, get a trophy for coming around the back, guys. And then we'll kill him later in New Game Plus. You can grab these explosive bolts if you want to while you're running past. These actually come in handy on the end boss. Because it can be quite awkward to its weak spot, but they make it a bit harder. Especially with super strength on. Yeah, so come in the store, guys. And carry on forward a bit more and eventually you'll get a walkie-talkie. It's part of the story. And you'll get, a of course, you'll get a trophy in a second. Sometimes fighting isn't the answer. Don't have to worry about that thing for now, at least. Let's see if I can find out where that psycho went. Who's there? Oh, don't work. I, I'm looking for this minute. You m without turning it off. His power. You mean take this? Use it to turn on the emitter. Once you've got Harrison's communicator, there should be a file on the table nearby. Another team member down. Yep, just on here. Yep, that's um, 15 of 40, is it? Report 977, urgent structural issues. And then we're gonna come into the door in the middle and sort of bring into like a gallery area, display area. And then take the door on the far left. Once you're through here, head to the back, far right at the back. There'll be a stairwell, you're gonna climb the stairs and it's gonna take you to like a room with a massive portrait. In this portrait room, all you've got to do is you've got to grab the necklace, grab the roses, put them on in a pot and on the mannequin, and then rotate the mannequin so that they basically look like the way they do in the portrait on the wall. And then you have to go into the camera, zoom out a little bit to focus, and then you have to take a shot. And once you've taken the picture with the mannequin in the right place and with the roses and the necklace on them, then the... Um, the picture behind will become reality, well the projector. Yeah, the green, screen, the green screen behind them will become a reality. Yeah, the mannequin basically needs to be facing forward, but a little bit to the side, as you can see, like it just was with me. There you go, so just focus by backing up once, and then take a snapshot. There you go. Game does that photo mode. Yeah, now in this hallway, there's a very tricky collectible. This one's quite easy to miss. Yeah, so as you come through here, you see all the pictures with an actual painting, not the blank pictures. You just go next to them until they illuminate. And make sure you grab this file, guys. Very important to miss. This is the one which I always miss myself. When I'm doing practicing, that's always one I miss. Yeah, so it's a Crimson Post article, 16 of 40. And it's just on that small cabinet on the left in a little picture frame. Which is very important. Make sure you pick up that file. Very easy to miss. Yeah, all you got to do here, like I say, walk near the big pictures on the wall until the lights come on. And then eventually that picture at the end should be illuminated red. And then run up to it, be a bit more dialogue. After that dialogue, turn around, run back. That picture will fall off and the door will open. And you can come in here. In here, all you got to do is run to the wall at the end and then run back and then some dialogue should start, should start and then after the dialogue's finished, a door should open behind you. Yeah, the door always seems to open behind you, just got to wait for the dialogue to finish.
In this room, you're going to get another file, but this one is story related. This should be 17 of 40. It's a photo of murdered Morbius operative. After examining the head on the chair and getting warped here, there's a handwritten note just by the exit door on a table. That should be file number 18 of 40. Make sure you pick it up, guys. And all we're going to do now, we're going to head out, make our way to the boss room pretty much. Um, grab these handgun bullets on the way. There you go. And then head inside, interrupt the emitter, and that'll start the boss fight. All you've got to do is keep damaging the boss, just keep the timer ticking down. And that's it. There is a bit of ammo in the area. But what all I do is I melee him, and when he jumps up to the ceiling, I just shoot him to knock him down again. You can't kill him, by the way. The only way you can kill him is if you've got a, a ammo type, which will deal fire. At this point in time, we don't, so all you can do is just keep knocking him down. Yeah, once the timer finishes, guys, get through the little scene, and then head outside this room. Thing is stopping the emitter from activating. All right, that got it going. I just have to hold it off until the emitter starts. Eighty seconds. Procedure completed. Great. Saved my own ass. But what am I supposed to do now? If he's gone, he didn't leave me here. Where did he take her? Should give Kibben an update about this. Shit. Maybe I'll get a signal outside. Yeah, I just picked up that gunpowder, but you don't really need to. But in here, there's going to be a file on that desk. Report number 213, the Union Social Maintenance. And that's file number 19 of 40, guys. 
and then come downstairs and we're going to get locker key now you couldn't get this locker key earlier that's why we have to get it now so come down the steps come into this doorway because this bit can be a bit confusing unless you know the area and then once you're back out here head to the wall straight ahead of you you see that grandfather clock on the wall turn left and uh, this door is unlocked now come in here get a statue inside it. it's going to be locker key 8 of 32 guys yep and then all you're going to do now guys you're going to head all the way back into the safe house and walk back to the mara chapter 6 should begin on the way thanks gotta figure out where he took her I think I might have just figured it out. Not doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. O'Neill, it's me. This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Dad? Lily? Oh, this place is messing with my mind. Once you reach here guys, there will be some dialogue which will begin. Now you can either wait here for it to finish or you can go th into the exit door, go through it and then come back in and that stops all the dialogue. And then you want to come back inside, grab this herb and then grab this slide. This should be slide, yes slide number 4 of 11. Yeah that doesn't spawn until after that dialogue, so like I say. If you come outside, it just makes the dialogue finish quicker, so you can pick up that slide a li little bit quicker, save a bit of time. Yeah, but pick it up, guys, and then come through here. Shortly, this big enemy is going to grab us. Yeah, so w when you're doing your classic difficulty walkthrough, remember this chapter. You want to make a save before this chapter, because in classic, you cannot. There's no. There's no checkpoints. There's no checkpoints. You have to. If you die. You have to respawn from your last actual manual save. Yeah, and you can die on this part, even with invincibility on, if you're not quick enough to shoot the arm when it grabs you. The game can glitch as well on classic difficulty. I've actually not had a glitch on PS5. There's weapon parts there on the shelf, by the way. Make sure you pick them up. Yeah, the weapon parts on the shelf. Yeah, I've not had a glitch on the PS5 at all. But I remember using a glitch a lot on the PS4. In this room, guys, you've got a mysterious object. There you go, four off eight. That's mysterious. Bobblehead. Pick that one up. 
and once you try to open this door that's when you'll get grabbed yeah so here you have to very quickly shoot the weak point here you have to shoot the um, glowing spots on his face there you go don't worry about ammo you have infinite ammo on these parts the parts yeah the parts when you get grabbed and you have to quickly shoot some at you've got infinite ammo so just keep spamming the button if you need to but yeah depending on the difficulty I think easy you only have to shoot it twice I think but in hard difficulty it's like nightmare it's sort of like five or six times you have to shoot it yep and then once you're near guys just head over here and into the safe house yeah once in the safe house you're gonna get a store a trophy now guys this will be team psychologist yeah I might forget to mention a few story trophies here and there um, but anything which is we need to do something else to pop you know outside of the story I will make sure I bring all them up to you so they're sending in a yeah so after this bit of dialogue with Hoffman yeah we're gonna get a file first the email core candidates that should be file number 20 of 40 and it should also give you a trophy for finding 20 of the files yeah team psychology is there yeah interact with the computer you get that one email core candidates that's file 20 you'll get a trophy doing some detecting grab the weapon parts of the shelf nearby and have a coffee guys yep yeah, there you go it's already been brewed no hanging around yeah that could should be coffee maker number four off seven yep and then we've got that grab the red gel on the chair over there that should be red gel three off eleven by the way I think I do miss one or two red gels but don't worry about that in here is the smoke powder make sure you pick that up gonna need it for later and then leave the marrow guys yep I might miss one or two red gels do not worry we actually pass more red gels than we need that's why I avoid one or two just because they're a bit further out of the way so I've only picked the ones which are closest to us because we do not need every single one we need every single high grade weapon part and that's pretty much why we have to go up to chapter 6 in New Game Plus for the last one of them which we need yeah but red gel you pass more than what you need so once you're here guys uh, grab the weapon parts and then grab the um, gunpowder as well weapon parts are just on the shelf opposite the mirror and then get another coffee coffee five of seven yep and then once you've had that coffee guys grab these high grade weapon parts from here as well there you go yeah do not forget them weapon parts very important and then outside here it's a memory grab this memory guys should be five of twenty four and then head over to the paintings examine them on the fence to um, begin the next chapter all right, the theater. I'm coming for you. The hell are these things about? Damn it. Lily's inside there. Art, huh? Time to put Hoffman's theory to the test. Once the next chapter begins, this is quite a long one. Yeah, this is quite a long one, this. Yeah, you need to smash the statue inside here. It's locker key, number 9 of 32. They make way in this sort of direction. Yeah, it's a few. There's one or two side quests we need to do here as well. Yeah, so um, we're going to head into the hotel first. On the way there, we're going to grab these nails. Yeah, you don't have to jump on top. I meant to grab the nails. Yeah, carry on through here. Just avoid the enemies. If you're thinking about weapon pouches, by the way, yeah, grab the weapon parts on there. There you go, some more weapon parts. 
grab the weapon parts here and the gun, gun powder beside it. There you go, and then we'll head into the hotel. In the hotel, all you're going to grab is a herb, and then you're going to interact with the painting at the back of the steps. Yeah, the the pouches. If you think, if you're wondering about them, if you do know the game already, and you're wondering why I've not been picking up any pouches, and there's been some guides that advise to get them, you don't need them. That's why there's no trophy connected to getting all the pouches, which basically let you. It basically upgrades how much ammo you can carry for each weapon. Like you'll have like a pistol pouch, you have a shotgun pouch, crossbow pouch. Yeah, it just lets you carry more ammo. But you don't need them for a trophy, and I just don't collect them. It takes about, when you pick one up, it takes like six seconds or so to pick it up. And I just don't bother. We're not, we're not getting much ammo, so there's not really any need to do it. So there's Obscura. You remember Obscura from earlier? You can actually kill it now. If you kill it, yeah, if you shoot it now, you'll kill it. I don't loot it. I shoot it. <laughs> I shoot it. I, d I don't even know if I shoot it, because you can actually escape without shooting it. You want to come in here first and grab the chamber key from that hand that's been holding on to it for you all this time yep oh guess I don't even kill it yeah the thing is when you kill it it takes about five seconds to drop dead and for the green gel to appear but I think it gives you about 7,000 green gel if you kill it but you, you don't need it you do not need the green gel guys so I just leave it it's quicker just run past it lift up the gate get on through unlock this door the chamber key and then you need to sneak up to the mannequin in the middle and then there'll be a prompt at the back and you just press X to follow the prompt and you should knife it into a million pieces. about destroying these things. Here we go. <sighs> destroying that freak's work was actually therapeutic, but I'm not done yet. One more. Once you're back outside guys, just head in this direction and you see a sort of car park and there'll be a locked gate. We're not locked, um, but it's closed. Just push it open and then come inside and it'll begin a side quest. Now if you haven't got a trophy for killing two enemies with oil on the floor, now is a good spot to do it. Because you've got a bunch of enemies here and there's a massive puddle on the floor, massive puddle of oil or fuel. Yeah, see it there? So if you haven't already got a trophy for killing two enemies with burning oil, you can do it now. Just lure them obviously onto the oil and shoot it. Yeah, this is a mission we want to do out in the open. These We need to do this because they lead to trophies and um, collectibles later, which we need. So yeah, you just got to kill all the enemies which spawn to save him. Quite a few will spawn. You can loot all these when they die because you're not going to be going anywhere until all are dead anyway. So the time it takes to loot them. Yeah, it's not really wasted. Yeah, this is why I don't loot all the enemies, by the way, because bending down to pick up a green gel takes like two seconds, and it will all add up. And because we've got so much left anyway, it's not really, it's not like it was needed. Yeah, so just kill all the enemies, guys, and then we're going to grab a herb. Yeah, we're going to grab a herb on the way in. We're going to basically follow Sykes into his safe house. Yeah, grab the herb, and then just beside the door, which leads directly into a safe house, there's like a small out, there's like a small out corridor and then this his actual room is inside. Yeah, some weapon parts on the crate outside. So to get the crate, get the weapon parts on the crate before you actually go into his room. And I'll see you in there. You just saved my ass. I didn't think anyone would come. You're from the search team. How did you end up here? I was looking for something. And what would that be? Look, it's dangerous out here. Come to my safe house so we can talk. 
Lead the way. Come on. Come on in. They can't get in here. Thanks again for helping me out. Sebastian. Castellan, you survived. How do you know that? I'm a step like hack. I know. Then you know. Yeah, that's why you're here. That's right. Hey, hold this spit. Look, now you can have. All right. I'm all I need you. Yeah, after that, he'll give you another quest. Yeah, this is another quest. You, like I say, you have to do all of these quests. Yeah, so this is getting back online. Um, but once you've done that, we're going to grab the loot. So you've got an explosive bolt beside him. You've got weapon parts times 40, handgun bullets, gunpowder times 4, and the 6 coffee maker. Only one coffee maker to go, guys. Yep, yeah, coffee maker 6, that one. One more to go. That's only 7 of these. You actually knock all them out pretty quick. Yeah, so we're, we're not doing that side quest just yet. We're going to slowly make our way there. We're going to grab some more collectibles in the area as we make our way. So we're going to part now, which I like to call the back streets. Because I don't really know what else to call them. And it's sort of out the, it's out the way at the back. So, yeah. So, yeah, just carry on following me. We're going to go around the back. We're going to get locker key first, which is on the statue right on the top of one of these buildings. Yeah, how the hell were we supposed to find that? Somebody found it. There wasn't actually, there was a official guide for this back in the day, a primer. It's, it's a real bad official guide though. Nothing like the future press ones. Yes, yeah, so on top of that house, there you go, statue. Shoot it and the key will fall down. Should be key number 10 or 32. Grab the weapon parts nearby. And you're gonna make your way around the back of the alley. You'll need, you wanna kill any enemies that are following you because there's a memory we have to interact with. Yeah, around the back here, there should be a mysterious figure. Kill the enemy first and grab that, there you go, mysterious action figure, that's 5 of 8. And they get memory guys, memory number 6 of 24. One other thing guys we need to pick up from this corner is the storage room key. Yeah there it is, I had to edit that bit in because somehow I forgot to pick it up. If you've seen just for a second there, I, I thought I picked it up but I actually picked up green gel. So I had to come back a little bit later, so I've just sort of cut that bit in there. Um, but once you've got a storage room key, so you want to make sure you've got the mysterious object from this back street. Mainly, you want the locker key, guys, the mysterious object, the memory, and the storage room key. And the mate way back, yeah, that big ripsaw lady will start to spawn. I think she's called the Guardian, I think that's the name, but you don't have to kill her. And you want to make your way into the Devil's Tap Room. You'll find a file here, the Barkeep's Journal. That's file number 21 of 40. In this back room, you've got a fuse and then interact with this painting. There's basically two paintings you have to enter and solve in order to, um, you remember them paintings on that fence from a little bit earlier when we seen the chapter seven text? You have to come into these two paintings in order to make that fence disappear basically. So you can move on to chapter eight. That's what we're doing now. We've done one already. That's where Obscura was, uh, but this is the second one. So let's make your way to the end, grab the key, and then make your way back out. But what we're going to do when we come through here, guys, we're going to pick up a hand axe. The hand axe just ca does count as a weapon. You do need to pick it up for the weapon trophy for getting all the weapons. So you, you probably, likely, you've probably already picked one up because we have passed a few. Um, I just get this one because you're always guaranteed to pass it. And there's some which were in chapter three, which don't always spawn. It depends on what path you take and such. But this one is always here. So yeah, get his hand axe, it's stuck in, there it is. Stuck in that crate, you literally run past it. Can't miss it. And then just quickly get back, get back out. Use your key to unlock the door. Go back into the room with the manic in the middle. Crouch around to the right, get up behind it, and then hack it to pieces again.
That's Once back in the tap room, guys, grab the smoke ba uh, smoke powder from behind the counter. Yep, and then come outside. Just ignore Rips or Lady. We do not need to do nothing with her. Yeah, we're going to want to go into the Duke Diner. In fact, I think I'll kill her in a second because she interrupts me when I'm trying to get a collectible. Yeah, so I do end up killing her. I just don't loot her. Yeah, on the top of that Duke Diner sign, it's a statue with a locker key inside. Yeah, there she is. So I'm going to have to get rid of her. I warned her. Yeah, that locker key, that's from that statue on top of sign, guys. And get the weapon parts from the side. And then come in here, get this memory. This should be memory number 7 of 24. And then what you need to do now, you need to go near the, near the front door. And then go near the jukebox. And then that anima will appear again. And it's going to lead you into another anima sequence. Yeah, so I, I was a bit quick there because the Ripsaw Lady ambushed me. Yeah. The Duke Diner, above the um, signboard outside, there's a little statue. You shoot that, it'll drop down, and it'll smash, and you can get locker key. That's locker key number 11. That's, yeah, just above the Duke Diner sign. You'll see it there, and then you come inside, grab the weapon parts uh, from behind the counter, get the memory from inside the back room, and then get that memory, trigger sister happen. Yeah, trigger sister happen. Yeah, once you're here, you need to move back a bit. You can't let her see you now. Because if she does, this will not work. She needs to go into the mirror, but if she sees you, she will not do it. And she just gets stuck because she's supposed to be able to kill you, but she can't. So once she starts going through the mirror, you're safe for the moment. You don't have to be too... Well, you don't matter anyway. But eventually this door will open once you're going into the mirror. And in this next bit, you have to run up to the big mirror uh, on the opposite wall. And um, you have to look in the mirror. Basically, on each side of the wall, there are two doors. There's two doors on the left two doors on the right. You look in the mirror, see what door has a flashing light above it. You can only see the flashing light through the mirror. So you look in the mirror, see what door has a flashing light and that's the door you have to go into. And you have to do that twice. So look there, see the flashing door? And that was this one here. Yeah, so you look in the mirror, see what door is flashing, then that's the door you have to go in. If you go in the wrong door, it will just bring you back to the same area again. Uh, but you have to do this twice. So it looks like you're in the same area, but it's slightly different, you can see a slightly different layout with the furniture, hospital furniture and stuff. So again, run to the mirror, look for the flashing light, there we go. Same door again, luckily for me. Go through there and that should be it. Once you've done it twice, that'll be it. But if you keep getting the wrong one, it'll just keep sending you back to the same room over and over and over again. Yeah, once you've done it, you'll spawn back here in this back room. And this corpse will be holding on to a slide for you guys. That's slide number 5 of 11. Once you've got that, hop outside into the park and not at the back. And just over by this dump dust is a locker key. Yeah, this is locker key number 12 of 32. And then what, what we're going to do next, come over here, it's going to be another memory. This will be memory number 8 of 24. Yep, get this one. And then just on the left there is going to be some weapon parts. Yeah, weapon parts just over there which we want. 25. And then just behind the bus there's some open crates. Inside there is some more weapon parts. Yeah, these crates here. Yeah, there you go. Grab them. And then once you've got these guys, we're going to head down into the marrow now. And now we're going to do that side quest, which we've got from Sykes.
yeah, eventually you'll reach this room. Just interact the computer, guys, and give it a few seconds, and that will complete side quest. Um, but now we can actually unlock the red chest. If you notice them, the orange ones, like this one here, for example, it's got a lock on it. But after doing that, in a second, they should unlock after the quest completes. Yeah, ignore me. I'm just wasting my um, ammo. Yeah, in here, you've got weapon parts, shotgun bullets, and handgun ammo. Grab them guys and then make our way back outside. And we're going to head into a storage room now. We're going to unlock it with the storage key. We actually did pass it earlier back outside. There's going to be a lot of goodies in here guys, you've got, you've got nails, you've got gunpowder, you've got weapon parts, you've got a full barreled shotgun in this box, one of the weapons which we need. Yep, and then what you want to do then, you want to try and exit, when you try and exit, a Nemo will pop up, just wait for it to come in, and you'll spawn in the middle, Shit. yeah, you won't be able to get out, just wait a second now, she will come in. It seems she did not. She didn't spawn directly outside. She's probably like a few steps away in the car park. Yeah, but she'll grab you. This is meant to happen. It can't kill you even without the cheese. On. Yep. And then once she's grabbed you, then we're going to loot this box. You should get all together now. Remaining in this room, you got weapon parts. You got high grade weapon parts, and um, then you got smoke powder. Yep, and then what you want to do guys, head back outside. Now we're going to get another key, we're going to head back to Sykes safe house to complete that quest. Yeah, so the petal station, go around to the front porch and you'll find a statue just on top of a sort of small, sort of a, val a vase type thing. There you go, you get locker key guys, yeah 13 of 32. Yeah, just heading back to Sykes' now, I'm going to hand in that quest getting back online for completing it he'll give you another weapon it'll be in the well it's in the it's in the box beside him in there will be the silenced pistol and you'll get some more weapon parts weapon parts 50 and weapon parts times 25 yeah there you go you have to come and hand this in because if you do not complete this quest You'll not be able to complete this quest, which he gives you later, because he just he won't be here. He'll just go a wall somewhere. Yeah, pick up the science handgun, pick up the weapon parts, guys. And then what we're going to do now is head into chapter eight. So to come outside, and you want to head in the car park, turn left, and um, on this dumpster, you've got weapon parts on there on the corner. That's it. And then just head to where we started chapter seven. Now, you see that fence? It's disappeared. We would have seen a little cutscene anyway. Um, have to do in the second painting. Yeah, so head in there now for chapter 8, guys.
gotta be in here somewhere. You dare to destroy my work? You expect me to bend to your will? Just like them. Thinking they could sculpt me into what I am not. What they created in here. It's marvelous. They wasted it. Because they... Once you get here, you want to go upstairs to begin with, right to the top. You're going to find weapon parts on a small little chair. And you're going to find another memory. This will be memory number 9 of 24. And there's not really much to collect in this chapter. There's a boss fight near the end. A few things to collect. Um, but you can get instant killed in this chapter, in this sort of labyrinth. So you've got to be very careful, especially on classic difficulty. Yes, make sure you get that memory, guys. Yeah, before you come in here on classic difficulty, you may want to make a save by just heading back to the safe house. Because if you die in this labyrinth, yeah, it'll be an instant kill, and you'll just you'll respawn back at the last manual save you made. Yeah, so just follow him, guys. Yeah, in the labyrinth, you need to hide. Basically, you need to stay behind cover and out of sight of the massive eye in the background. And there is one locker key in this labyrinth. I'll point it out to you once you reach it. Yeah, just behind this wall is going to be a little statue. There you go. Smash it and get locker key number 14 of 32. And then carry on. You'll find another fuse shortly, guys. There'll be a fuse you can pick up. Yeah, the fuse is just here. There you go. And then leave, finish this bit, guys, and you end up in a photo room. Once in this photo room, you want to grab the red gel in front of you. That's red gel number 4 off at 11. And then grab his nails. And let's follow the path, guys. Yeah, you want to try and make sure you've got, you need two bullets for Stefano. If you don't have two bullets, then just go in your crafting menu now by opening up your weapon wheel. And there should be a crafting icon somewhere. Just craft some bullets. Just craft two bullets. He dies in one hit and he's got two stages. So you shoot him once. There'll be a small scene and then the second stage will begin. Shoot him again and that's it. The fight is over. Very simple fight guys. And you'll get a trophy for beating him. Premature finale. Shut down a bloody performance. Your death will be art. It's time to put a signature on it. I'm coming. Enough of this.
is this? Where's the mirror? this place. You can grab these nails there, but you don't you don't really need to. I don't really use them. I think you use the nails for making either harpoons or explosive bolts, but I, I don't really use them that much anyway. We do make a few explosive bolts near the end, but, but it's not many. All we're doing now is making our way to the far room and we're gonna grab the crank which we need to open the gate to progress. So now I've got a crank guys, time to turn down some collectibles. So grab that gunpowder on the way past. Come to this fire cell room, now all the cells are open. Yeah, grab the weapon parts from out of that cell. And in this one it's a statue on like a little altar. Smash it, grab the locker key, that should be locker key number 15 of 32. Don't kill any enemies in this room just yet, I should have told you that already. Do not kill any enemies because we're going to get a misc trophy here soon. I think it's for killing three enemies with a... Uh, with a lamp, is it three? Uh, get weapon parts from there guys. Gunpowder from here. Here you got more gunpowder, you got a file. That's burnt page from submit to freedom, that's file number 22 or 40. And I also get his pouch, the warden crossbow. You don't, you don't need to get that. I just get it because I'm running past it and it gives you an extra ammo space. Alright, so here guys, if you look above the gate, there's a lamp on the ceiling. You need to kill, I think it's three enemies or more. No, sorry, two, it's two enemies. Yeah, so two enemies, yeah, I'm just looking now at my guide. Yeah, so you gotta kill two enemies or more with a hanging lamp. So there's literally one, there it is. Just get two enemies below it. The, the explosion radius, it's similar to, if you remember the puddle of oil, how big that was, this has got a similar sort of area, as you can see. Just wait until two or more enemies are underneath. Shoot it, and that should kill him. Get you that trophy, guys. Death from above. Once you've done so, interact with this gate once all the enemies are dead, because they will interrupt you, and it's a little bit annoying. Yeah, clearing a path. I think that's for killing 60 enemies. You'll get that naturally. Don't even worry about that. Yeah, so you want to open this gate, and then through, through this next corridor, we're going to have to go in a side cell, which is going to lead us to a memory. Yeah, this will be memory number 10 of 24. You want to go into the cell on the right, not far right, just the first door on your right. Grab the weapon parts, and then come to the little crawl space. Come in here and get the memory and there's actually gunpowder beside it as well yeah that is memory number 10 of 24 guys yeah grab that then go back to the main corridor and you can climb down the ladder once you climb down the ladder after a few minutes there'll be a small scene um, with sort of just in in the middle of nowhere and um, you've got to run towards your house or towards Lily do that bit kill the next enemies which spawn afterwards There'll be a little bit of ammo in the area if you want to grab it. 
Um, but yeah, grab that and then carry on afterwards. And I'll pick up just after that, guys, when we need to pick up the next pack of weapon parts. What's going on? You lost everything. Your failure to this game led to Nash, which led to despair, and despair led to self-destruction. Because of you. You couldn't save her. You hold the key to ease your door. I can guide you to the lock. Who are you? What do you want with me? You cannot change your past. You can only embrace it. Yeah, grab these weapon parts here guys, then come into this next chamber, the circular chamber, grab the herb on your right and then climb the ladder. Now at the top of the ladder there's four cranks you need to turn. Now it doesn't matter what order, well it does depend on what order, but it doesn't depend, it doesn't matter what side you start from. You either need to go from left to right or from right to left. It doesn't matter which one, just either left to right or right to left. If you're going right to left, it's, it's basically always the same sequence. The sequence works in reverse. So if you want to do the same as me, go from right to left. Remember, this is right to left. It's, and you always rotate these clockwise. Always clockwise, and I'm doing right to left at the moment. So first crank is clockwise twice. This crank we are on now is clockwise once. This crank is clockwise twice. And then the last crank is going to be clockwise once. And that's it, that will line it all up guys, you know when you've done it correctly, because the cutscene automatically starts. So yeah, left to right or right to left. Um, if we, if I just, if I label the cranks from left to right, one, two, three, four, for example, and say for this time, this way I did it, I started on four, for example, I did it in reverse. But yeah, go from left to right, one, two, three, four, and turn in each one clockwise, it would be one, two, one, two, that's your order. I just did it in reverse from right to left, so I went 2 1, 2 1, like so. Fairly easy to do. You know, once you've done it right, because this will happen. If you mess it up too, mu too much and they're all out of line and it doesn't even work, you could just reload a recent auto save and they'll default back to their sort of default location, the default setting. And you can just do it again, guys, either from left, from left to right, 1 2 1 2, or from right to left, 2 1 2 1, and always do it clockwise. So once you climb down the ladder again, there'll be another herb we're going to pick up. 
just down there at the opposite side. And there's also going to be a locker key in the statue just above that gate uh, we just opened. But there's a statue holding the statue. Yeah, so grab that herb, look up at the statue to see it's holding another statue. Shoot the little statue, which the big statue is holding, and that drop a key. Locker key, guys, number 18 off 32. Uh, no, sorry, 16 off 32. It looked like an 8 on my screen. Uh, just tiny text. But yeah, that's locker key 16 off 32. And after that, guys, you're going to begin the cabin siege. So to kill all the enemies during this cabin siege, grab any ammo they drop or gel. I don't think they drop any gel. I think a few of them do, but not many. Yeah, grab the ammo, kill the enemies, and then once you kill them all, there'll be one locker key in this area we're going to grab and some weapon parts. Too many times to count. Grab some supplies while you can. I can hear more coming. All right. But I'm getting some answers when this is all over. Not so bad yourself. That noise. Oh shit. Watch out. What are these things? Doesn't matter. Just kill them. Hey, give me a hand over here, would you? Once the siege is finally finished, come into the side room guys, the neighbouring room, and um, up in the room above, just through the crack in the roof, is a statue of a locker key inside. Should be locker key number 17 off 32. And also in the same room should have weapon parts times 40 and weapon parts times 30. You get a trophy under that ally, survived an ordeal with the help of a new friend. That should be trophy number 13 off 52 if everything is on track. And once you've done this guys, you've got a little bit of story. This bit's a little bit slow moving because you have to wait for Tories. You have to follow her to the end. She'll say something, then you have to follow her to a, a side path. You go through there, follow her into a cave, give her a boost up and carry on a bit more until you reach another section with some burning enemies. So get through that guys, get to the next bunch of enemies and I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm lost. What plan? Getting Lily out of here. And then, taking Mobius down for good. Wait a second. What is it? Shit. Let me guess. The way back to your safe house? There might be another way. Come on. Wait, hold on. Your plan. Kidman didn't say anything about that. Yeah, well, I'm sure she wasn't able to debrief you on that in front of everybody. Over here! One of us has got a lift while the other one crawls through. Got it. 
I'll just. Whoa, you all right? Let me help. through before I drop it on your head. Okay, I've got it. Thanks. You need a break after that, old man? Come on. I'm not that old. So you're telling me Kidman had a plan to take out Mobius all this time? Actually, it was your wife's plan. Wait, Myra? So that's why she's here. She's part of Mobius. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Gonna have to duck. Don't blow your back out. This isn't the time, Torres. You know, you should be proud of your wife. She's compelling. She recruited me for this plan. I don't understand. Why would she join them? She found out they had Lily, and knew the only way to take them down was from the inside. So she joined up and waited for the right moment. All these years, that's where she was. Damn it. This is a lot to take in. I'm sure it is, but let's not lose focus. We've got to get over this. Can you help me? Yeah, of course. Ready? <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> I've got you. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, you just gonna forget about me? What? You thought I'd leave you hanging like that? You're a part of the plan now. The plan. Right. Who else was involved in this little mutiny? Just four of us. Me, Kidman, Myra, and Theodore. Theodore? Father Theodore? Father Theodore? I just call him Theodore Wallace. You know him? We've met. But he doesn't want to save Lily. He wants her for himself. Tried to talk me into hunting down Myra, too. He's the one who screwed everything up. How is this whole thing supposed to go? Once Myra and Theodore got Lily, Theodore and I were gonna get her out while Myra stayed behind to take care of Mobius. Kidman stayed outside and make sure we got out of STEM safely. Shit, it was supposed to be easy. Nothing's ever easy. Oh no. What is it? Shh. Quick, follow me. So much for your safe house. I wouldn't put my safe house in the open like that. Titan, but we've got to get past those things to get there. You see that red banner behind that building? Yeah. The hatch to my safe house is under it. Okay, I'll take the lead. Stay low and keep behind me. Right. As soon as we get control back, we're just going to sprint over here. We're going to pick up weapon parts times 30. Just there. Yeah, run around here. You can kill a few of these if you want to, because you might have to later anyway. Uh, because you have to interact with Tories a bit later, and if there's two enemies too close, so you'll not let you interact with, with her. There's some weapon parts on them beams just back there, just on the left there. And they just carry on up here, guys. Try to run the way I'm running. Yeah, just carry on up here. And um, if any enemies are following you, just shoot them. You might have to shoot more than two. You might not have to shoot any at all. It just depends how many following you. Yeah, but just shoot them. That's it. And once there's no enemies close by, she should come and stand by this uh, trap door. And there should be a prompt. There you go, like a speech prompt. Interact with that and then follow her inside. You can basically follow her into her safe house.
There's no place like home, but a safe house runs a close second. Listen, don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. They're as safe as cookie dough. At least until I arm them. So what are we gonna do about Theodore? I don't know. He's hot. I should be... What? Yeah, she's... she's hot and he'll... T if I could... So the... Yeah. How are you gonna... O'Neill, but I better... Right. She's probably... Sebastian? Where have you been? Did you find Stefano? I did more... Good. She's... The good... Herb. That is... So what's... The bad... And he need... Damn. I'll send some Kimi posts. I know. I trust... Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. You should Let's get control in sight. And weapons ready. I'll need First, your once I we'll the grab a file. Should be a file here is somewhere. There, the there it is, just on that desk. Tourist journal. Here. That should be yeah, 23 or 40. You've also got a fuse on the shelf. You've got gunpowder. You've got I'll shotgun shells, ready. handgun bullets. Hang tough, and weapon boys. parts times 60. And beside it guys, it's, here's the coffee maker, number 7 of 7, that should pop the trophy, caffeine addict, used every coffee maker at least once. Yeah, and we're in chapter 11 now as you can see. Yep, so that should pop that trophy. There you go, caffeine addict. If not, you've missed a coffee maker somewhere. And coming to the side room, and inside on the shelf is high grade weapon parts. This should be, yeah, pack number 6. They come in here, guys, and we're heading in back into the marrow. All right. Let's hope the marrow is still there. Let's get into the marrow just on the entrance. There's going to be weapon parts times 40 and a condenser times one. Yeah, here's the weapon parts on the shelf. And there's a condenser. Condenser lets you make freeze bolts. We won't really be using them much. Um, but you do need to craft every bolt. Crafting a bolt just count as crafting a weapon. Um, and it counts as the craft for the crafting trophy as well. You've got a nail cell on the barrel. And in this fuse panel, this one's really, really difficult. You need to flick every single one up. Why did they make that so simple? What, what is the point of making that a thing? That puzzle shouldn't even be there, should just be an a on switch. And um, just for you guys, got another slide. That should be slide number 6 off 11. And we're going to come up here back into Hoffman's safe house. There'll be a memory in here. This should be memory number 11 of 24. We'll get his memory. Then we'll get a fuse off the table nearby. And we'll also get another file. Yeah, that should be 11 of 24. Yep, if everything is on track at the moment. Grab a fuse, interact with the computer to get a computer file Hoffman's notes. That's file 24 of 40. Over here, you've got some more weapon parts. And then you're going to make your way into the little side room just before the elevator. There'll be two enemies in here. If you don't kill one underneath the table, It'll grab you, it'll grab your ankles and try to nibble at them once you get close. So you can just kill these beforehand, kill that one, and this one playing dead. Yep, get the high grade weapon parts, and then the weapon parts out of the sack. Yeah, so high grade weapon parts and normal weapon parts. And then you see the elevator, guys. Once you reach the toy section, come in this first room on your left and interact with the computer for a file. Yep, file number 25 of 40. That's computer file, security protocols. Once you've got that, guys, just carry on a little bit more. All these tanks. What's this about? <laughs> Once in here, grab the weapon parts on your immediate left. 
carry on a bit more and a memory starts automatically this memory is unmissable it should be memory number 12 of 24 and during the memory I normally just shoot that panel with a shock bolt uh, just while you can't do anything at least you can do that just say a few seconds that's it. it should raise that shutter so you can go inside in here what you need to do is go into the office at the end take the file from the computer you have to take if you don't take this file this next anima sequence doesn't begin you have to take the file in order to trigger it yeah this file just here computer file pit observatory that should be 26 of 40 and then carry on back down to where you came in and you'll meet anima she'll be waiting for you Yep, here she comes. So say, good morning. How are you doing today? And she'll send you over here. Yeah, this is, should be the last sequence, and this will pop the trophy for seeing all the sequences with her. So yeah, get through this last anemone sequence, guys. And afterwards, she should respawn. Well, you'll, you'll spawn in the corridor eventually, and there'll be a file on either side. So get to that corridor, guys, and I'll come back to point out the next collectibles. Once you've escaped the menace, yeah, you'll be in this corridor and there'll be a room on either side in a second. Here we go. So in both these rooms, you'll find letter from police chief, 27 of 40, and you'll also find the torn psychological evaluation report, the bottom, file number 28 of 40. Yep, and let's carry on, guys, until you get back into the real world. If, well, can you call it that? But yeah, just carry on until you're back where you first interrupt that computer and Anima snuck up on you and whisked you away. Out. Can't get us still here. Can't leave. Nothing changes. My fault. It's all my fault. What the hell is this? Can't move on. The source of my pain is me. The part of me still stuck in STEM. Never getting out. No. I'm wrong. I will get out. But without you. What was that? It felt different than the others. More real. Like something changed. I feel... good. Huh. My trusty revolver. Yeah, you'll get his new weapon. This is a revolver. This counts as one of the weapons that you need for one of the trophies. Yeah, finally free. That's for completing every traumatic encounter and make a piece of your demons. Get that slide on the desk straight in front of you. That's slide number seven of 11. 
Yep, and then head back into the main area, guys, when we've got caught that memory. There's quite a lot of things to collect in this lab area. Um, so I'll just stay with you, walk you through it all. So first of all, once you're back in here, come to steps on the right, go to the top floor. Do a U-turn at the top and you want to come into lab two. In here, we're going to grab a herb and we're going to get another memory, guys. Memory number 13 of 24. Yeah, then we're going, going to go into the room opposite, across the ways. Yeah, just over there, that is lab 3. You have to go into lab 3 anyway because that's an item you need to progress the story. Yeah, up here there's some weapon parts just on the right of this next door. Yeah, there we go, weapon parts times 50. And then come in here, and this monitor in the corner should have computer file operative case on it. That's 29 of 40. And then come over to this panel, and the code for this is 01. Two eight. I will say that again in case you didn't hear me. O one two eight. And now it's going to drill into this guy's head. All of this just for item which we need to progress the story. Yeah, pure red blood. Yeah, but now he's got a logo on his hand. Lucky guy. If only he was alive to see it. Yep, so once you drilled into his head guys, pick up the Unity Cerebral Chip from inside. That's it, just make sure you're wearing gloves. That's what we needed. And then once you've got that guys, you're going to head back downstairs now. Once downstairs, first we'll do a lefty, hang a left, and grab them weapon parts off that table. And then follow the wall on the right around anti-clockwise, and come into this first room on your right. Pick up the condenser, come in here, pick up the file, 30 of 40, report irregularity studies. And then also grab the red gel. Yep, there should be red gel inside there guys, make sure you pick it up. Yep, and now you want to just kill any enemies that you run past, just give them a quick slash with your knife. Come near to this door to start a sequence of it opening. It doesn't start to open unless you get so close to it. And then look up onto that light above and shoot down the statue guys to get the key off the top. Grab the fuse and then come around here and get the file. That's report stem integration irregularities, 31 or 40. Yeah, what's a little bit quick there, you should have got locker key, 18 or 32 and the file 31 or 40 around the back. And then make way over here guys, loot that rucksack for some gunpowder and some ammo. And then come in here. Okay, so we've got a boss coming up, but you have to fight this boss in a certain way. You can't just instant kill him, because otherwise you're gonna lose a trophy. Yeah, you have to kill him in a certain way in order to get his trophy. So what you wanna do, you want to craft some shock bolts. Yeah, probably about four. Yeah, you're going to need about about three or four, you will. Uh, you should get a trophy for crafting something for the first time, a DIY. Yeah, so the way to do this, you need to turn off super strength, otherwise this won't work. And all I do, I switch to a shotgun, I use the shock bolts to stun him. Yeah, turn off super strength, very important. If you forgot or something, just load game and uh, re reload to checkpoint. There should have been an auto save just before triggering him. Yeah, basically, you got to blow up his tank without killing him, guys. You blow up his tank on his back without killing him. It can be hard to tell if you're hitting it, because there's not really any sign um, other than a few bullet holes in the back of it, I guess. There's not like any sparks or anything. But yeah, all I do, I lob a shock bolt, run behind him while he's stunned, and then shoot the tank a few times. And just repeat that. Shock bolt, run behind him, shoot the tank. Shock bolt, run behind him, shoot the tank. And once done guys, yeah, you'll get that trophy. No more playing with fire. Stop the true believer from playing with his favourite toy. 
That's all you needed to do, guys. Build up his tank without killing him. And then once you've done that and got the trophy, you can put super strength back on and go and give him a little cut. Yep, give him a little cut of your knife and uh, finish him off. Both stages. Once you killed him properly, you'll get that trophy crossing to the other side. Pick up his flamethrower. Very, very important. Come into this room, get high grade weapon parts. And also get some memory, guys. This should be memory number 14 of 24. And in here, some gunpowder on the right if you want it. Just there. I think I run past it. Yeah, I don't bother. But grab it if you want. Yeah, very important, guys. You get that trophy for blowing up his tank before you kill him. And um, also, yeah, make sure you pick up the broken flamethrower piece from his corpse. You still need two flame tanks to use it. We actually get them in a later chapter. But yeah, pick up the broken flamethrower because we're going to have to use that to craft a flamethrower later. It's actually tied to another trophy for killing a, an enemy in a certain way by using a flamethrower. If you don't craft it, you can't get it. Plus, you can't get the trophy for crafting every weapon and um, ammo and such. Yeah, but carry on down here, guys. We're coming to the emitter room. Once here, you only get a locker key from behind the emitter before you progress. So yeah, be very careful. You don't. You're not just skipping through this dialogue, because in a second, Taurus will appear, and she has a option to basically move straight on to the next part. So just be careful. You're not spamming the dialogue button in case you accidentally move past this area. Yeah, here she is. Yeah, first get a statue behind the emitter. Locker key number 19 of 32 will be inside, guys. And speak to Taurus again and tell her you're ready to go. Yep, there it is, hiding there. 19 or 32. Yeah, speak to Taurus, guys, tell her you're ready to go. And we'll begin chapter 12. Is that enough to Like, and it's. I'm good to go. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick Ass happening in three, two, one. Are you okay, Torres? Torres? Where'd you? Once there guys, there should be weapon parts just on your left, there you go, on some debris. It's quite hard to navigate in this area and to, um, I guess, watch what I'm doing and try to see exactly where I've gone to find that loot. But yeah, that's just it's just sort of on the left, you'll see it on some debris, uh, weapon parts times 40. I guess you could probably do without them weapon parts if you can't find them. Uh, because we do have 150 extra and there's another 500 left in the training area which I don't get. So we do get an extra 650 weapon parts. Uh, but get them if you can. And then you come over to this crank guys. You need to kill any enemies if they're following you. Because they'll interrupt you. Like they just did with me. And then just rotate the crank a few times. And it should unlock this gate. Once through this gate there will be a file. You definitely need to get this. This is file number 32 or 40. Burnt page from Submit to Freedom 2. Yeah it's just on your right. So keep an eye out. That's it, flat burning, that fire on your right there, some sort of a metal framework's burning. Yeah, get that fire beside it. Yeah, 32 or 40 guys, very important. And then come into Lily's room. You were too stupid to listen. No, 
No. No, this isn't right. Myra succeeded where you failed. You refused to listen. You lost them both, and then became lost yourself. You know anything about me? Myra understood that goals can be achieved by suspicion. By joining. to find her. Come on, man. Let me get you out of here. You can't let him get to you. You gotta... You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's, wrong? What's wrong? Are you alright? You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Myra? Where? Once in your house, guys. Very important. There's a few missable. Well, there's a missable trophy you're going to get now. Um, you are going to be coming back in classic difficulty. But come into Lily's room, and just inside her room on the left, there's going to be a slide. There should be slide number eight off eleven. Yeah, after the dialogue, you should be able to pick it up. Yep, yeah, eight off eleven. And then come back into the landing, go towards the top of the steps, and we're going to go into the room near the top. Yeah, into Sebastian's office. Yep, yeah, in this office, and um, we're going to examine Sebastian's desk. So There's three things you need to interact with basically for Missable Trophy. That's one of the family memories. And then you also want to pick up the mysterious symbol on this counter on the left. That, yeah, the mysterious symbol, that should be mysterious object 6 off 8. And then examine the picture which Sebastian drew just on the wall to, uh, next to the top of the steps. Yeah, examine that guys. That should be family memory 2 off 30. Come downstairs and now you're going to interact with Myra's accomplishments on the shelf here. This will be family memory 3 off 3 and it should pop the trophy Melancholy Memories number 19 of 52 guys And then just do what I'm doing to progress the rest of the chapter. Yeah, so very important guys Just make sure you also got that mysterious object um, at the top In that room at the top as well as examining all them family memories to get that trophy She's right She's always been right Theodore uses my own guilt against me but guilt for what? 
It's their fault, not mine. They took everything from me. I didn't start any of this, but I'm gonna finish it. And God help anybody that stands in my way. Wake up, Sebastian! Oh. What? Hoffman? What happened? She brought you here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I tried to save her, but... No. I shot her. The bullet wound was superficial. She died from injuries sustained in a battle with those things. Damn it. She didn't have to die like that. She was a good soldier. She just wanted to save Lily. And now she's dead. It's all my fault. Again. No, Sebastian. It's not your fault. Don't let him do this to you. You're right. That goddamn son of a bitch. This is what he wants. Trying to make me feel guilty. But he's the one who did this. Not me. He's the guilty one. Okay. That's the problem. What do you mean? I picked the Theodore's, but it's... Shh. I think I found... Great. It's not... Okay, I'll go... Okay. A few more things. You should have got a trophy here, guys. Spiritual Awakening. That's story related. After that, you want to pick up this assault rifle. Another weapon which we need for the powerhouse trophy. I'm sorry, Esmeralda. Once you pick sure it up in the same room, nothing. you should find gunpowder, handgun ammo, like dog and is. weapon parts. And then we're going to leave the Mara and go back to where... Chapter 7. We're going back to where we did Chapter 7, where we met Sykes for the first time. Yeah, grab all that stuff from that sack. Loads of goodies. And then as you try to make your way out, yeah, you'll start a side quest called The Last Step. Starts automatically. It only starts if you completed all of Sykes' missions from earlier. Yeah, you get a phone call. Yeah, just make sure you grab them weapon parts on the, that shelf just on, on my left there. Pick them up and then interrupt the computer guys to leave the Mara. Yeah, once you're back into the next safe house in Post Plus, you're going to pick up another red gel. You're going to find smoke powder, nails, metal pipe and a condenser. And we're actually going to find a locker key as well on the way out. Yeah, red gel should be in the side room where the mirror is. And then all the all other goodies are in the sack. And then leave the safe house and in this room, just before you get outside, in this like little out room. Yeah, just around the corner should be a statue on the floor. Break it and pick up a key from inside. That should be locker key number 20 of 32. Come outside after. And now we're gonna find, you're gonna, you know that flamethrower boss? They're called Harbingers. Yeah, we actually need to kill two of them and loot them for a flamethrower fuel tank. And then that's what we will need to craft the flamethrower weapon. Yeah, so there's one. So you're just going to come over, you're going to kill him, and then you're going to loot him. He'll drop green gel times 5,000, uh, 5, guys. And um, yeah, one of the fuel tanks which you need, he'll drop one off two. And then we've just got to kill one more bit later to get the second one. Yeah, if any enemies will show for you, just kill them as well, otherwise they're going to keep interrupting you. Yeah, there you go. Flamethrower fuel tank. Make sure you get that. 
as well as the green gel he drops and you want to come back into storage room yeah now we're back in this area you'll see a lot of the items have respawned the area has been repopulated yeah in here you want to grab the metal pipe weapon parts the high grade weapon parts there'll be a fuse and in this chest there'll be some more high grade weapon parts and some more weapon parts yeah pick them up two high grade weapon parts in this room yeah so just make sure you've got everything from the side there now all new items have spawned in this area we've got to go and do some looting again yeah so now we're going to go back into Duke Diner you're going to find a locker key inside there now yeah so just make your way make your way over there we'll get the herb first just have you, as you go inside via the back door uh, just look left and you see herb on the floor pick that up and you'll find the locker key in the bathroom yeah there's the herb and they go in the bathroom and there'll be a little statue on the shelf that's it, just carefully how you shoot it, you do not want the key to fall in the toilet yeah once you've got that just go outside the front door yeah now we're going to go into the devil's own tap room all we have to do now is go to the hotel pretty much but you've got to get a few collectibles along the way oh and of course do Sykes' side mission yeah come to the devil's tap room inside you're going to find loads of weapon parts there you go 65 and the B weapon parts times 70 in here you'll also find a fuse yeah weapon parts in that drawer and um, a locker key inside the statue yep locker key number 22 or 32 and then we're going to go back outside guys to the central junction in the road the main junction in the road and on the traffic lights above there'll be a statue with a key inside but there'll be three of these exploding enemies you might want to kill these first yeah because you need a moment just to aim up and to actually shoot it yeah there you go shoot that statue grab the key it drops that's t locker key number 23 or 32 and grab a weapon parts from this guy yeah massive bunch of weapon parts here 250 on new game plus this would be 2500 but yeah grab the weapon parts guys 250 very very important that's a massive amount and then carry on to the end of the road until you see the harbinger there he is. Shoot him as he runs off. I don't know why that didn't kill him. I guess probably out of range. Yeah, kill him. It would do like the most dr dramatic death animation ever. Yeah, loot him afterwards and uh, grab that second flamethrower fuel tank. That that's it. You should have two of them now, guys. Smash a statue in this debris from his old house and grab a locker key from inside it. Locker key number 24 of 32. And then you want to come into Sykes' safe house. There'll be a lot of weapon parts in here. You basically, there's going to be four stacks of weapon parts. You've got 60, 50, 50, 50, and handgun bullets. Yeah, you've got some in the chest. Yeah, there's some weapon parts. Some more ammo. Yeah, two stacks of weapon parts there. Talk to Sykes, get that last uh, mission, just progress it. You can actually interact with the computer in this room now and take you to like a little side area. You have to do this for a weapon and a slide. Yeah, get the weapon parts, get those weapon parts, and then head into the marrow, guys. Yeah, so once you get into the marrow, we've got to kill all the enemies in the area. First, we've got to turn on the power, um, but then we've got to kill all the enemies. But down here, you will find some weapon parts. Weapon parts times 100. Yeah, so we'll just loot the weapon parts, and then we'll make our way to kill all the enemies and uh, turn on the power the room where you turn on the power that's normally where most enemies um, appear yeah that's weapon parts so you turn on the power stay in that room and all the enemies should, should sort of come to you looks abandoned spooky just gotta take care of whatever's down here and get the power back on Yeah, for this one, guys, you need to flick up one, two, and four. Yeah, so it's a little bit easier than that last one where we have to flick every single one up. That one's quite difficult. This one's a bit easier. One, two, and four. That's all you need to do. That'll turn off power. Now you can kill all the enemies. 
Once killed all the enemies, you just have a bit of a uh, bit of a sort of um, story scene, and uh, some more collectibles will appear. This is it then. Better call Sykes. Thanks, man. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Are you sure this is gonna work? No, but staying in here isn't gonna do me any good. Anything is worth a try at this point. Okay, it's all set. When you bring Lily back here, there's a timer right here. Turn it a quarter rotation, and then you just press this button. It'll give you 60 seconds to climb into the pod. You both should be able to fit in it together. I don't know, Sykes. I got a bad feeling about this. Look, man, I know what I'm doing, okay? Maybe you should hold off on this. Help me find Lily, and then we can all find another way out of here. I feel for you, man. I really do. But I'm doing the best thing I can do for you by getting this pod operational. Okay. If you say so. Wish me luck, Sebastian. Thanks, man. I left you something in there for helping me. I'm not gonna need it where I'm going. See you on the other side, Sebastian. For completing this mission, you'll get a trophy Sykes out. Yeah, that's for completing the last episode mission. And then come in here, guys, and you're also going to find photographic slide number 9 off 11. You're going to find some weapon parts, some shotgun shells, and another weapon, the double-barreled shotgun. Sorry, yeah, double-barreled. I was going to say sawned-off shotgun, but no, that's a double-barreled shotgun. Yeah, pick it up and the slide, make sure you got them, and then go back out the marrow, guys, up to Sykes safe house. Once up here, there is going to be a file to pick up. There you go, message from Sykes. That's file number 33 of 40. Yep, and then what we're doing now is just heading and making our way to the hotel. So come out here, hang a left, and then another left. There you go. If you want to look stylish and cool, roll over the car for absolutely no reason at all. Pick up the weapon parts from on there. Come through this alley. Turn right, and we're going to get some more weapon parts on the crates at the end. Well, on the rubbish. Yep, these weapon parts just here. And then we can head into the hotel. Once in the hotel, there'll be a little scene. So get through a scene, guys, and I'll pick it up just after. It's only like 30 seconds or so. The hotel's clear, Hoffman. Are you done with your tweak? Well, here it is. What is it? It's a it creates a house. It's circum. Big enough to. That's the top. Last thing you. I can't let. So is staying. The only. It's the. Who's gonna help? You know. Of course. Just be very careful with this dialogue that you're not just bamming the button because you might accidentally tell her that you're ready. But first, we need to grab all this loot in the area before we actually tell her we're ready. So you've got shotgun shells, you've got weapon parts, you've got a freeze bolt, 
you've got gunpowder, you've got fuse, and you've got Hoffman's journal. That should be file number 34 of 40. That's on that table beside her. And then behind the receptionist counter, there'll be mysterious mug. That's mysterious object um, 7 of 8. Yeah, mysterious object 7 of 8, guys. Mysterious mug. Do not forget the mysterious mug or the um, file, guys. Could have done with that mug uh, when we still had coffee to drink. Um, but that's one of them, 7 of 8. There's only one more mysterious object to find. And then tell Hoffman you're ready. And you're going to start the fire walk. This is what a lot of players deem to be the hardest thing on the... Probably in the game, especially on harder difficulties. But it's... It's quite... It's, it's not too bad when you've got invincibility on. You might have a little bit of difficulty. But I'm confident you can do this, guys, with invincibility on and super strength. Basically, um, some enemies will rush you occasionally. You can actually see them outside spawning. It can be hard to tell just because they're the same colour as the fire. Um, and you normally have to wait for them to fully animate before you can actually damage them. But Hoffman will have about 35 bullets on her. It can actually pick up a few items along the way. So to carry on, there are two items we actually want to pick up in here. Just some weapons which are going to become helpful later. Another one. Watch your back, Hoffman. That's what you're here for. Good thing. They're everywhere. to keep us out. Good. That means he's afraid. Don't stop now. We're almost there. Hold on. There's something wrong with the stabilizer. Can you fix it? I'm working on it. Watch my back. Was close. I told you it was temperamental. With these enemies, so because you're not going nowhere, you can loot them afterwards to get the green gel. And once you reach this big Morbius crate on the left, loot it because he's got a smoke bolt inside and a freeze bolt. All we really need is the smoke bolt, but yeah, take them both, the freeze and the smoke, just so you can craft it. You can't, you can't craft anything until you picked it up for the first time. That's why we're having to pick up every bolt, bolt type. Yeah, then carry on guys, and eventually you'll get to chapter 14. Shit, my skin is burning.
happening? It's failing again! Hold on! Hurry up! It's getting hot in here! You'll get a trophy here, fire walk with me. That's story related. I'll make him pay. I promise. We're getting near the end of the game now. Yeah, chapter 14, burning the altar. Yeah, just sprint to the end. We are, there's actually a collectible on the altar. Yeah, talking about the altar, we need to go and interact with it to get a collectible. Yeah, there's gonna be a herb on it as well. We'll pick up the herb and pick up the file. This is Theodore's scripture one. This is file number 35 of 40. Let's get into this machinery room guys. Follow my lead because we're going to get a statue. This statue is well hidden inside this little sort of um, wheelbarrow type thing. Yeah, that statue just there. Loot it for the key. That should be locker key number 25 or 32. And then pull this lever to open the gate to leave this area. Go through that gate guys. Make way to the top of steps and there's going to be another item which we need. At the top here, you've got a red gel directly in front of you on that altar. Yep, that's all we need here. We'll take this valve just to um, put out them flames so you can get past. If though we can technically just run through it, they seem to actually make a barrier. Yeah, so um, extinguish them flames, come up the steps, and we need to enter this room on the left. This is a final file. It's not, I mean, there's still a few more to get yet, but it's a final it's actually the last one in the game um, but yeah this file here guys Theodore's scripture 2 that should be file number 36 of 40 back out to the main path and there's some weapon parts just near his pipes weapon parts times 15 yeah that's the actual last file you find in the game uh, but the reason we haven't popped the trophy yet is just because I left I left four um, which we'll get in new game plus as we go through the areas where they are yeah, certain, actually no, I've left some parts for New Game Plus um, just because it's more effective 
because them areas lead to weapon parts and um, green gel and it's more effective to do them in new game plus so we get three times green gel and ten times the weapon parts yeah because otherwise you wouldn't necessarily go to them places again it's sort of like little side rooms or like little optional areas related to side quests yeah coming here afterwards there's going to be a locker key in here guys yeah just pull that lever to um, start this bit's timed you pull a lever it's going to lower this gate but eventually it will open yeah but and then on here it's a statue guys smash it on the pipework and you'll get locker key number 26 of 32 a spawn will appear I was going to say a spawn will spawn just in front of this gate eventually the two gates on the side will raise and while they raise you can get a shock bolt get the weapon parts off the back and the gunpowder around the other side yeah kill these two other spawns which have um, yeah, spawned and then just wait a few more seconds and this gate should race and then you can go up the steps So what we need to do now is we need to go into the mirror. So before you go into the elevator, come into the mirror. Yeah, we've got to craft some things which we're going to need to get some extra trophies and um, just make it a bit more time efficient when it comes to grinding some other trophies. Yeah, so come into the police station. You're going to come into the office, your, um, your actual office, and get photographic slide number 10 off 11. Yep, 10 off 11, so we only need one more. We'll be getting that new game plus. And they want to come over to the crafting table, guys. You want to craft the flamethrower. Very important. Yeah, craft the flamethrower. And then you also want to craft about three shock bolts and about three or four smoke bolts. And then what you want to do after that is you want to upgrade. Yeah, you want to upgrade your ammo capacity on your pistol and your fire rate as well. Yeah, so um, ammo capacity on the pistol and the fire rate. Nothing else, just that. Yeah, you, you should get a trophy there, making things a little easier. That's for using your first high grade weapon part. And also the trophy now you're playing with power. That's for upgrading a weapon to um, level three. Yeah, once you've done the pistol, remember just the ammo capacity and the fire rate. Yeah, you want to come into the crossbow. Yeah, not charge time. I did the wrong thing here. Yeah, because it had like a, a lightning icon, I thought that was a shock bolt. Yeah, so what you actually want to do is you want to upgrade the shock bolt to level 3. Yeah, do not purchase a final upgrade and do the same on the smoke bolt. So upgrade the shock bolt and the smoke bolt to level 3. There you go. Do not buy the last upgrade, guys. Very, very important. Just to what I did. Because if you buy the last upgrade, that means they're going to damage enemies. And because it's super strength, it will instant kill them all. And we don't want that. Yeah, so just buy smoke bolt to the level 3. And do the same with the shock bolt. Don't worry about that charge time. Like I say, that was a mistake. It doesn't matter if you did, because we do need to do that later anyway. Um, but you might not have enough weapon parts. Depending... If you've been following me very very closely you have no problems at all but if you miss a few things along the way yeah you might run out of weapon parts so very important you upgrade exactly what I do once you've done that come and sit in this chair now we're going to buy some character upgrades yeah there's a trophy for using one of the character upgrade abilities called ambush so we're actually going to buy that now and then it's going to be a perfect spot to do this later in new game plus but if we get it now, it's going to make it easy to do it later. Otherwise, we've got to come back here, get it, then leave the game. Uh, sorry, go back to where enemies are to pop it. But this way, you actually pop it all naturally along the way. Yeah, so buy that skill first, and then buy Ambush. Yeah, we're in the Stealth section, guys, on the character upgrades. Yeah, so Stealth. Buy that first skill, and then buy Ambush. Yeah, low profile one and Ambush. And then you want to come into Combat, 
and you want to buy steady hands one, two, and three, and fire in stance one and two. Yeah, this is all just to sort of improve your recoil and your fire rate. There you go. Once you've done that, guys, we are all done. Go back into the stem. Go back into stem. Yeah, back through the mirror, and now you can interact with the elevator, guys. And it's going to take you for a little boss fight. On your way, just make sure you drop down into this area of blood first and get this memory. This is memory number 15 of 24. Yeah, get that guys and then go through that door ahead and it'll trigger a fight. will stop me. Sebastian has officially lost it, hasn't he? Yeah, he's lost a few marbles. Yeah, these bosses, you've got Keeper times... Well, I think it's Keeper times two or three. Yeah, you kill them, and then you'll be in a fight with Laura. When it comes to Laura, you need to kill her with your flamethrower, guys. Very important. And you'll get a trophy. I'll take you down myself. Brought your own equipment to the barbecue this time. Chapter 14 in brackets. That's what it says in the description for the trophy. Yeah, so kill these first two enemies any way you want. The Keeper is the first boss, but Laura... She's uh, the girl crawling along on the floor. Yeah, you need to clear with your flamethrower. Very, very important.
Here she is. Yeah, flamethrower, guys. And once you killed her with that, you'll get a missed trophy. And it should take you into chapter 15. Yeah, push the door open, you'll get a story trophy. Overcome the past, your trauma is no more. Yeah, now carry on, just follow my lead here. And you're gonna pass a sniper rifle leaning against the wall here. You're literally gonna run past it. Do not pick it up. We still have to craft the sniper rifle for the crafting trophy. And if you pick it up here, you're not gonna be able to craft it anymore at all. It will completely void the trophy from this, um, from this playthrough. And even in New Game Plus, because you already have a sniper rifle, you will not be able to craft it anymore. That would mean you'd have to go through the game all over again and getting all the weapons all over again. Basically, anything which you could craft, you'd have to get all that again. So, yeah, make sure you do not pick up a sniper rifle, guys. In the room behind it, you're going to find a high grade weapon part. This should be weapon part number 11 of 16. And this is actually the last weapon part you find in the game high grade weapon part yeah there it is do not pick up a sniper rifle but pick up this high grade weapon part in the room behind it I know it said we've only got eight high grade weapon parts that's because we used some in the previous chapter if you remember when we upgraded our weapons that's why it says you've got eight but technically that's the 11th weapon part which we have collected and then you want to drop down here and now with the upgraded smoke bolts up to level three when you use your smoke bomb a, sp a smoke bolt near enemies it actually makes it so you can stealth kill them for a few seconds there's a trophy for smoke uh, sorry stealth killing 10 enemies yeah there's also one for killing three enemies in smoke but you'll get that naturally while you're doing this so all we're going to do here for these enemies is we're going to use smoke bolts if you run out just craft more you should have a bit of smoke you do need smoke powder but I did have us collect a few quite a few just so you got some to spare yeah just like so guys just fire a smoke bolt quickly press X to stealth kill them there'll be another enemy in here so you got two to begin with there's one in here you get a trophy smoke assassin once you kill three enemies in the smoke there's nothing else in this room I'm just trying to get out yeah and you've got another enemy out here yep yeah. smoke bolt stealth kill there you go make sure you press X for the stealth kill don't go and flee R2 attack you actually want to make sure you press an X to do the stealth kill once you kill their four enemies the path should be revealed to progress so you got you got to kill all the enemies here anyway this is why it's a really good spot so you're not really wasting any time now down here there will actually be seven enemies so four enemies there seven enemies here if you stealth kill every single one of these two bunch, these two encounters that will make for about 11 enemies so you should easily get the 10 stealth kills which you need yeah should have got that smoke assassin trophy as well kill three enemies using upgraded smoke bolts yeah so all I do here I just round the enemies up and then you can sort of um, get more than sort of two or three yeah round them all up and then you can try and get them all with one smoke bolt Yep, there you go. Just spam X now. Stealth kill him. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on here. And you get a trophy, guys. I am the knight. Oh, he got away. But I've already got the trophy, so it don't matter. I think it's because I got a few stealth kills right at the start of the game. That's why I didn't quite need all ten. I think I only needed eight or so. But yeah, you should have got a trophy, guys. And then drop down here again. And there'll be... I can't actually remember the name of this boss. I just call him Telegraph Pole Thingy. It's basically a telepath pole. Gets possessed. It comes to life. 
yeah. All that things it could um, merge its body with, all them things it could splice with, and it chooses a telegraph pole. Yeah, just a single shot will kill it. Anyway. Yep, and reveal the path to progress. Just make sure you loot the corpse afterwards. Because you'll get green gel times 10,000. And the drop down here, guys, to finish the chapter. Can't let her take Lily. chapter 16 in limbo get near the end guys now there's four memories here you can actually miss these but all you have to do is run near them and trigger it like so to get the memory to actually appear and start playing that's all you need to do then eventually you can run away and eventually it will just trigger there you go 16 of 24 so make sure you run near to that memory guys to get that 16 of 24 we did get a trophy as well once you came here a story related trophy everything comes crumbling down reach the very end of the world yeah here's another memory guys this is memory number 17 of 24. Yeah, just run close to it to trigger it, get it start, get it started, and then it should um, register. And over here is another memory. Yeah, that one should be 18 of 24. And then come to the police station, grab the handgun ammo, grab the weapon parts from the sack. Uh, sorry, the weapon parts are in here on the left. Yeah, it should be 150. And then you got red gel near that mirror. That's the last red gel of the game, guys. We need 11 red gel. We've got eight. We should have got eight in total. We have, I think we might have used one already. So it might not say eight. But yeah. The remaining three will actually be getting them a new game plus. So once you've got all that, guys, weapon parts and the red gel from the office and the handgun ammo, make your way up the hill and you'll find the last memory of the game. We still need a few more, but this is the last one you actually find in the story. Yeah, that, that one there just there, that should be memory number 19 of 24. Yeah, just trigger it, and it should register a few seconds later. And then come up here, guys, and there's going to be a boss. Now, this will be Myra. Now, with Myra, um, once you come through here on classic difficulty, once you've taken down so much of her health, um, one of her hands will grab you. And you have to quickly shoot the weak points on the hand, otherwise it will instant kill you. So it's a good idea when you come here later on classic difficulty, make a safe point in that detective's office just before here. So if you do die via the instant kill, you can come back. And another thing that can help, um, making a safe before the cabin fight in chapter 10, because if Taurus if Taurus dies, lose all the HP, um, obviously that will end. That will be a game over. And the same in the fire walk. If Hoffman dies, that will be a game over as well. So yeah, a few points like that is where you want to make a save. I think you've got seven saves in classic difficulty. Yeah, but these um, carcasses will drop ammo. Yeah, so you just got to keep shooting the weak point. Just shoot it once and then she'll move on into the next stage. Shoot the belly once. And it should come back. To, it should, um, yeah, come back to life again. Shoot it again. And then she'll have pregnant and have loads of baby spiders. Just stomp on all these. Stomp on them. They'll drop loads of goodies, gunpowder, and some ammo. Yep, and then what she'll do, she'll respawn. The weak points will now be on her, on her back, on the back of her shoulders. And it can be difficult to hit. Uh, so what you might want to do here is use your explosive bolts. Just makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, I don't know why that was delayed. But once you've shot off one of her arms, this is the moment where it grabs you. So you've got to quickly shoot the weak point. Yeah, there you go. 
You've got infinite ammo during them during them parts. Just, just bam, just bam attack. Get rid of that hand as soon as possible. Yeah, now you got to shoot the back of the other shoulder. This way an explosive bolt might come in handy. Yeah, just finish off now, guys. And, um, yeah, you'll get through this and eventually you'll be back in your house. You'll place Kidman briefly here. All you got to do is just get rid of the enemies, and eventually you'll be back as Sebastian. All security personnel report to the control room. All security personnel. Need to hurry before more show up. Shit! Yeah, once you get control back as Seb. You need to come into the living room first before you go upstairs. And on the shelf is the last mysterious object. Yeah, there you go, the mysterious toy. And uh, that should pop the trophy guys all in the family. So make sure you get that, very important. If the trophy didn't pop, then you missed one. But don't worry, you can actually do that in classic difficulty without too much problem. Obviously, you're just going to have to check where everyone is. And then you want to head into Lily's room and then you'll be back as Kidman. Watch well, back his Kidman, just kill the enemies and then sprint to the end and that pretty much finishes the end of the game. You'll be back as Seb briefly, carrying Lily and all you got to do is run down the hill, get into your office and that ends the game guys. And once you get onto the credits, we'll see all the trophies we pop and the new unlockables. Almost there. All security personnel report to the STEM room. This works, Myra. Sebastian! Kidman, I've got her. Where do I go? Get to your room. All right. But Myra's staying behind. You know why. Okay. We don't have much time. I'm counting on you, Kidman. Yeah, so we've got loads of goodies now. We'll get against all odds. That's for completing the game on um, Nightmare difficulty or higher. You get Survivor. 
that's for completing the game on survival difficulty or higher you'll get rookie that's for completing the game on casual or higher you've unlocked new game plus you've unlocked cinematic letterboxing there's actually a trophy connected to that you'll unlock classic mode difficulty we need to complete that for a trophy 60,000 green gel when you next get to chapter 3 new game plus you get three outfits professional drifter and classic and you'll also get the weapons guys magnum and brass knuckles at the end of this just make sure you do make a safe game a new game plus it will ask you if you want to make a new game plus safe yes make sure you pick this yes because when we do new game later new game plus you're gonna to have to pick that to load from Yeah, you might want to make two, just be on the safe side in case you accidentally overwrite one by mistake, you've got a second one to fall back on. So we'll jump straight into New Game Plus guys. So scroll down to New Game Plus and you want to pick one of them New Game Plus saves which you just made. And you can pick the lowest difficulty now. All we're doing, we're playing up to chapter 6. Just get the rest of most of Misc trophies. And then we can start a brand new playthrough on classic difficulty. Get all the way to the end. Yes, yeah, so start on, start on um, any. Just go for cash roll. Just because there will be less enemies to deal with. Be less any way to interrupt you. Yeah, you might want to disable aim assist just because you can't use it on classic and um, it might just if you get used to aim assist the thing is is it can make it a little bit difficult on them parts when you have to quickly shoot the weak point on the hand or the head because obviously no aim assist there so um, just getting used to having it disabled can help yeah but to begin with you want to come to options go into settings and now with letterbox available you want to turn that on go back into the game and you'll pop that trophy guys that cinematic feel and then once you popped it just go back into options and disable it yep and all you got to do first guys so it's going to be a bit slow going forward to begin with just because you got to get through them first right, prologue chapters and unfortunately you got to do all this again on classic yeah so just get through those first few chapters guys and I'll see you on chapter 2 if you remember when we got into the house back on chapter 2 into that abandoned house after the Ripsaw Lady um, just get there and then I'll come back and just let you know what's going to be next. How did this happen? I'm coming, Lily. Just hold on. I'm here! Lily? Come on out! No. Sebastian? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. What is it? The 
is this? Where am I? Dad, help me! I'm coming, Lily! I know it's hard to accept Lyra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No, no. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. What the hell is this place? Detective, we've got a call. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius. A cat? I don't ever remember owning a cat. A mirror. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Here we go again. Into the looking glass. Is this the right place? search team Baker someone tried to block the way out What's that? Shit.
I gotta find a way out of here.
yeah, make your way outside the house and you'll get the new you'll get the new weapons now, the magnum and the brass knuckles. Yep, yeah, and uh, another thing you might want to just bear in mind, when you come to crafting things later, you can't craft something if you have full ammo, full stock. For example, if you've got a full stock of a medical syringe or a health pack, a medical kit, you will not be able to craft any. And the thing is, because you can't shoot in the office, or be no en enemies to damage you, so you can use a health pack, it means you'd have to leave, for, go find an enemy, and then come back in. So yeah, just bear that in mind guys, try to make sure you haven't got full ammo. If you have a medical kit, I think you can only hold one of them, so you're going to have to use it. Um, if you want to get damaged and you've got cheats on, just disable the invincibility cheat so you can get damaged. And then you can lose a bit of health and then use a healing item. Of course with ammo, just make sure you expend some of the ammo so you've actually got some space so you can craft more. That goes for every single weapon by the way. Yep, and then all you're going to do now is make your way um, down to that junction where all the enemies are guys. And we're going to pop a mystic trophy there. Oh. oh God. Yeah, once you get down here, yeah, this tro this trophy might seem a bit tricky to do at first. It's called Wait For It, and for this you have to kill an enemy using the Ambush character upgrade, which we actually bought in New Game, if you remember, just at the end of the last playthrough, when we went into the office, into the station to buy the weapon upgrades and the character. This is one we brought to Ambush. So to do this, you can just keep restarting this checkpoint if you need to. You need to be in cover, so make sure you're actually in cover. I think I'm holding R1 on the cover. And if it don't work, yeah, if you get seen, you will not be able to do it. So like me, if you get seen, just reload checkpoint. Yeah, you basically need to be looking at the enemy. You need to be in cover. So like holding one and you're sort of pressing against something. And then you have to be looking at the enemy if the enemy in the center of the screen. And when the enemy gets so close, uh, a prompt will appear to do like a sneak kill. And that's what ambush is. It's just tricky getting that prompt to appear in the first place. Just make sure you're not all the way to the left, because if you was like I was the first time, you'll get seen. So just make sure you're not too far. You're not too far to the edge of the car, otherwise the enemy will see you. And just make sure the enemy's in the middle of the screen. And once it comes close to you, as soon as you see that prompt, press X to do the ambush kill. And that should pop that trophy, guys. Like I said, it might take a few tries, um, but you, should, you can get it there quite easily. It's, just, it's a good place to do it. Just because that enemy automatically goes up and then back down again and you've got a car for cover. And there's a checkpoint right beside it. Easy to do. So here, you see I stomped them enemies. There's a trophy for killing 15 enemies with stomps. So what we're going to do now going forward, any enemies we find, we're going to use a shock bolt to shock them. that make them fall over and then we can stomp on them. And because we've got a shock bolt upgraded to level 3, it will actually chain between enemies so if there's few enemies near near to each other you can just fire one shock bolt it will chain between them all and knock them all down and then once on the floor you can just stomp on them so now we're back in here this will be chapter three this is O'Neill we actually want to talk to him afterwards yeah once you get the dialogue selections afterwards you want to pick supplies yeah talk to O'Neill about supplies and I'll start this the side quest rogue signal and if you remember, the reason I said we've left it into New Game Plus is because it gives you 150 weapon parts as a reward and New Game Plus gives you 10 times weapon parts. So that's going to be 1,500. Once you get control after the dialogue with him, remember to pick supplies so you start the rogue signal side quest. 
Yeah, you're going to pick up the weapon parts beside him. That should be, you should get weapon parts times 150 and weapon parts times 100. And you also want to interact with the workbench just so you can craft. Just in case you need to craft some more shot bolts later. Yes, pick up them weapon parts, these ones, and interact with the workbench. There you go, just interact with it and then press circle to back up. Yeah, you can craft a few shock bolts here if you need to. Remember, we need to stomp kill 15 enemies with with our feet. Yes, and you need shock bolts to knock them all down. So you might just want to craft a few more here. Just because it's a little bit cheaper. It the fuses it, it will always use the same whether you craft at the workbench or out in the open. But all all it'll mean is it might use more gunpowder. Yeah, that's that's all it is. It uses more. If you're on the move, it will use more gunpowder. Whereas at the bench, it will use a little bit less. So once you're outside, guys, yeah, just got a few more collectibles to pick up here now, which we missed in the game on purpose. Yeah, it was intended. Just a bit more time affected to do it now. Yeah. So once you're outside, first we're going to get a locker key. Yeah, we, we could have got a soccer key in a new game. You'll see how close it is to where we were. But I, I just decided to get it here. I, it probably saved us a few steps. Because here we actually literally run past it. Yeah, see on that bench just on the right, there's a statue. Smash that. There you go. Locker key number 27 off 32. Run down here to where you got the warden crossbow earlier on. Back in new game if you remember. Yeah, be a bunch of enemies here. Now you want to kill the, the enemy of the Molotov, the bottle, you want to kill her. Because otherwise, when you use shot bolt, she's going to drop that and it's going to kill all the enemies near her. So just shoot her while she's on her own. Get rid of her. And then any other enemies, she's a shot bolt and stomp them. Yeah, should be about four enemies here. Yeah, it's two more over here. Yeah, it's a shot bolt. Oh, it's three here actually. Yeah, wait for them to fall over. And then stomp them. Yeah, not pop the trophy yet, so I still need a few more. And then once you kill them, come up here. The thing is, you need to kill them anyway, guys, so you can interact with this memory. Yeah, this memory, come over here and trigger it. This should be memory um, number 20 of 24. Yeah, we didn't get these earlier because these are part of the side quest. Yeah, so make sure you get that memory. Now we're heading into the train now. And now you're going to see exactly what I meant when I said at the start of the game in New Game. About sometimes these crates don't spawn. If you come, if you always take this route through Chapter 3 when you first come in, they always seem to not spawn. Yeah, so you look left. Yeah, see no crates at the end. If there's no crates at the end there, load game and just restart the checkpoint. There you go, it should have made a checkpoint just after that memory we just got, so it's not far. This is quite a bad glitch, because there's a high grade weapon part there. You know, one of the most rarest materials you can find. And for it not to appear, yeah, it's quite a nasty glitch. Surprised it's never patched. Yeah, come back, and there they are, there's the crates. Yep, I, it's a very bad one, but yeah, luckily, luckily there is a fix. So smash it guys, there will also be weapon parts that drop, yeah get the weapon parts and the smoke powder, there you go, and the high grade weapon parts, that's high grade 12 of 16 which we need. Once you've got that now we're going to come out, go left and then go into this train, the one on the right, come inside, there's going to be some enemies inside here and you're going to have to kill these because there's a memory at the end and you will not be able to interact with it if any of these enemies are alive so yeah any there's going to be about three or four enemies in here so yeah just use your shot bolt stomp them yeah it's one here in the corner won't let me stomp, stomp it for some reason yeah right at the end is where the memory is yep yeah, and once you get to the end you see turn around and see all the enemies I think this is it. I think this is where I'll get the trophy. Oh, there we go. Bootable offence. Yes, yeah, so that's for stomp killing 15 enemies, guys. So, once you got that, you can just kill enemies normally now by just 
giving them a little swipe with your knife. Yeah, so get this memory. This will be memory number 22 of 24. And then get the red gel beside it. Yeah, that should be red gel 9 of 11. All we need of, of them is two more. But we've passed more red gel than we need. It's only high grade weapon parts, which we don't pass. Yeah, you get weapon parts off them crates there. Pick them up. Weapon parts times 150. And then come into the Mitchell and Sons. Uh, well, sorry, the Union Auto Repair Garage. Pick up the fuse on the left just in case you still need to get more shock bolts to get more stomp kills. Come into this back room, get the weapon parts on the shelf, and then get this memory near the control panel. Yep, that should be memory number 22 of 24. Yep, and then interact with the breaker. And you need to flick up, switch second, the second switch, and the fourth switch. Flick them up, come back into the the main room. Kill this enemy in here and get the weapon parts from the shelf in sight. Oh, accidentally picked up a uh, medical syringe and accidentally looted the enemy. Yeah, but you just want the weapon parts from in there. And lift up the car and go underneath. Yeah, I'm just using that medical syringe because I think that put me at max stock. So I've just used it. Yeah, in here we basically need to go into that locked room again. We we'll use the code 9676 to unlock it. There'll be another high grade weapon parts in there and weapon parts times 200 as well. Yes, yeah, so interact with the panel, guys. Yeah, B34 9676 to unlock it. Yeah, all you want inside, like I say, you want the weapon parts and the high grade weapon parts. There we go. Got weapon parts on the left there, if you want them. Climb up. You're going to activate that trip wire, then you can pick up the explosive bolt, and then pick up these weapon parts as well. And then go to the forklift, turn it on to um, raise the load so you can crouch beneath it. Yep, and then push this trolley so you can get out. So what we'll do now, we're going to come over to this gate over here. We're going to smash the lock so we can get behind it. Yep, smash that lock. And then we're going to jump over this fence on the right. Just jump on the crate and hop over. Yep, nice little glitch there. That always seems to happen when you try to try to climb on that crate from that sort of angle you try to clip into the floor yeah but in here you want to come interact with this crash car I need this worse than you do. should have been wearing a seatbelt yeah take this laser sighted handgun from his firm grip didn't want to let that go yeah you'll be ambushed by an enemy once you get control back just make sure you pick up the weapon yeah because you did drop it yeah, pick up that weapon guys, the laser sighted handgun. There you go, that's one of the weapons which we need. And then you can get out. Just jump on a car or jump on them uh, crates on the left. Yeah, and hop up back over the fence. Yeah, so now we're heading over to the northeast corner of the map. There's going to be a garage. There'll be one of them gas enemies as well, called a lament kill it because otherwise it's going to alert more enemies yep yeah, you've got a statue here guys behind the garage with a locker key inside that's locker key number 28 of 32 and you want to come into the garage kill the enemy inside and grab a loot you've got weapon parts in here you've got another stack of weapon parts in the sack you've got a file on the floor file number I think it's 37 of 40 Morbius communicator lock replacement parts. Yeah, there you go. And also pick up the sniper rifle parts off the crafting bench. Yep, sniper rifle parts one off two. Make sure you pick them up, guys. Okay, so now all we've got to do, guys, is head over to a pit stop, do a bit of the story, and then we're going to head back to the Treadwell trucking exterior.
Are these lilies? Lily! Are you here? It's Dad. Oh, where did she go? Lily. It's okay. It's me. Damn it. All right, calm down. How do I get in there? Lily's doll. She's been here. <laughs> Lily. Oh my god, she's in trouble. Someone is chasing her. I should check out around back. See where that window comes out. <laughs> What the? Another signal. Good. I'm coming, sweetheart. Just hang in there. Let's try this again. Where are you? Blood. A few days old. Hope it's not Lily's. Thank God. It looks like she stopped here to hide. She must be in that warehouse. Smart girl. Lots of good places to hide. Yeah, once there, guys, make sure you pick up these weapon parts on that crate. Yep, there you go. And then go into that um, little fenced area at the back, pick up the um, circuit breaker, and then enter the warehouse. Once in the warehouse, there'll be a fuse inside. You probably don't really need the fuse, but I pick it up anyway. 
and then make our way up the ladder at the far end. Hopefully that did the trick. Resourceful little girl. She's gonna be okay. I just gotta find her. Yep, yeah, once up here, come to this room and pick up the high grade weapon parts. There you go. And there's a shock bolt in here if you need it. Yeah, but you do definitely need them high grade weapon parts. And then just progress the story a little bit more. Another doll. But where's Lily? camera and the son of a bitch has my little girl i was so close damn it calm down think i gotta save her no more signals coming into this communicator i need to find another way o'neill not sure i can trust him but he wants out of here as bad as i want to find lily o'neill it's sebastian Yeah, once you get control back out here, you can you can kill these guys if you want, or, or just run past them. But make sure you get them weapon parts just there. And then to get out, yeah, you can you climb on this and you can sort of you can just climb on the corner of that container. You so you're supposed to move the cart and climb on it. But this way you can sort of just avoid doing that. Yeah, if you stand right in the corner, there'll be a prompt to climb onto the container. And then you can climb onto the planks to climb across. But now we're actually going to head into 322 Cedar Avenue. It's going to be a few little optional objectives we need to do in there.
Yeah, once here guys, in 322 Seda Avenue. Come into the back room and you'll find another memory. This memory number 23 of 24. You'll find a weapon pass on the shelf. And then come into this back room and you'll find a fuse and some more weapon parts. There you go, yeah, that's the final memory guys. We'll be going there shortly, just got to do this bit first. Yeah, grab the weapon parts and the fuse and then go down into the marrow, into the armory. Computer's still working. What the? Yeah, once done here, shoot that panel just to um, with a shock bolt to raise the door and then solve this wave lock. We come down here just for a locker key pretty much and um, to make the elevator open, I think you have to open this wave lock door. Yeah, but come just inside, you'll find a stack of weapon parts times 350 and a stack of weapon parts times 250. And then come to this room where we were sitting earlier Get near the elevator, yeah, should open up now. Two enemies inside, kill him. Yep, yeah, kill him and then go inside and smash the statue for locker key number 29 of 32. And just outside in the sack, it's weapon parts times 150, guys. Now make your way into Union Visitor Center. Yeah, once you get inside, there'll be a file on the counter. There's a 38 of 40. Welcome to Union pamphlet. Yep, then you want to head downstairs into the basement. And then on the left, you'll find weapon parts times 250. Yeah, once you get into the photo room at the bottom. Yeah, just hang a left and you'll find it on a desk. So on this like small little cabinet. But yeah, pick it up and then come over here guys and get the last memory, number 24 of 40. 
uh, that should pop the trophy number 37 of four, uh, 52 echoes within stem observed all residual memories and then once you've got that memory guys you need to pick up this communicator because that is file number 39 of 40 Turner's communicator log yeah so after this you'll pop the trophy guys like I said pick up this file this communicator that's file number 39 of 40 and then head back to O'Neill Tough luck, Ryan. Huh. Another communicator. Must be Ryan's. Huh. Mobius team members. They might have something useful on them. Damn it. Where did he go? That was weird. Even for this place. O'Neill's safe house is right there. Might as well give him the bad news about his entourage face to face. Not sure now. Union, most of, but their past, we call it, it doesn't make, fortunately, but it's a maze. Where's this? I'll mark the lo looks once you're inside. That should take you. You could have told. Maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. The passage. Yeah, talk to O'Neill to him get the gas mask and advance to chapter four. But you also want to talk to him again, just so you can report back the rogue signal side quest. You'll get a trophy for doing it. Uh, backup ain't coming. Yeah, talk to him again, guys. There you go, and should report it back automatically. Yep, backup ain't coming. And as you can see there, you get weapon parts times 1500 as a reward. Nice reward for that one. That makes that makes a massive difference, that does. Without them, we'd have to collect a lot more weapon parts than what I do. Yeah, so once you've done all that, guys, leave the safe house. Now we're gonna climb onto this roof at the side of the um, visitor center. Gonna get the final parts for sniper rifle here and the final file. Oh no no sorry, not here yet. The final the final file is a little bit later. Yeah, but come up onto the roof, you're gonna pick up two stacks of weapon parts. Each stack has 150, so you can kill the spawn. Yeah, you got weapon parts there, kill the enemy. There's sniper rifle part, that's part number two off two. And then there's weapon parts. Now what we're gonna do guys is head into the north safe house. Yeah, you can use shock bolt to open it. There'll be some weapon parts in the safe house garage. Yep, and then make your way into the mirror. Just make sure, yeah, you get the weapon parts inside the garage guys, uh, just before entering the safe house.
Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. Kidman, can you hear me? So this is the computer O'Neill was talking about. Let's try that password. Once you spawn in here, there will be some weapon parts and some ammo. Yeah, just over there in that open case. Yeah, pick these up and you can head into the operations room and you'll find some more weapon parts in the operations room just on a shelf. Yeah, you can see it there flashing. Yeah, pick up them weapon parts and then head into the lockdown room, guys. Unlock, well, try to unlock the door by solving the wave puzzle and then kill all the enemies that spawn and make your way into the gas area and I'll see you at the gas panel the panel yeah, in the gas chamber just to get you, let you know um, what combination you have to do emergency lockdown procedures are currently in effect lockdown can be disengaged by tuning to the frequency on your communicator might as well give it a try Emergency lockdown deactivated. Please wait for system reboot of each annex. Stand by. Recreation area emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. That's it. We need to conserve ammo. System reboot complete. Emergency lockdown fully disengaged. Jesus, the smell. So this is the dreaded get Thanks, O'Neill. I'd never make it through without this thing. Flammable. Damn. That means I can't rely on my firearms.
Maybe you remember the code for this, but you need to flick up one, two, and four. And then push in a bit more, guys. And then there's going to be red gel soon. But we want to get into the safe house first in the city hall area. Uh, thank God. That mask smelled terrible. Here it is, my way back into Union. Yeah, once you leave the mirror, just make sure you come into the room where the mirror is. And you should find that red gel right beside it. That's red gel 10 off 11. We only need one more of them. This must be City Hall. Gotta stop this guy and save Lily. Yeah, we're going to kill this lady this time. And that will give you a trophy. Not running this time. Defeat the Guardian outside City Hall. Yeah, loot it afterwards. You'll get 1500 green gel. And then just head through the front door. Grab the shock bolt outside. And there'll be some handgun bullets as well. And then what you need to do, guys, just get through this bit. Get into Chapter 6. And what I'll do, I'll meet you back in the Mara. Yeah, we're getting close. All we have to do, we just have to get just to the end of chapter six, sort off. Yeah, just to the end of chapter six. And then we'll basically have everything we need. And then we, what we have to do then is we have to end up going into the police station. And we're going to be in the police station literally for about 30 minutes, just doing upgrades, doing a training range, unlocking all the lockers, um, crafting all the guns and that, yeah. Spend about 30 minutes just doing all sort of crafting things like that yeah we'll get through here guys and i'll see you back in the mirror 
And um, if you do remember, I did mention it before, but Obscura, during this emitter, this emitter battle, where you have to keep Obscura sort of distracted while the timer is ticking down, if you use a flamethrower, you can kill it. I think flames are the only type of damage that can kill it for some reason during this um, emitter, this emitter encounter. But yeah, use flamethrower to just kill it outright. What's this about? this this camera so old must mean something Lily, this guy's playing with me. Another one. But what's he after? has to be the emitter. Authorization required. Please connect an authorized terminal. Terminal? Must mean this communicator. Restart sequence initiated. Meet my beautiful obscura. Restart sequence. You gotta be kidding me. Sequence will complete in 90 seconds. That thing is stopping the emitter from activating. Oh. Out of going. 
I just have to hold, hold it off until the emitter starts. Oh. Oh. Stabilization procedure completed. Great. Saved my own ass. But what am I supposed to do now? If he's gone, I didn't leave Lily here. Where did he take her? Should give Kibben an update about this. Shit. Maybe I'll get a signal outside. I can't believe these bastards use Lily like some kind of science experiment. And then they have the nerve to send me in to clean up their mess? It's like some kind of sick joke. Gotta figure out where he took her. Think I might have just figured it out. Not doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. O'Neill, it's me. I see the stable field emitter is back online. Please tell me you found the core. This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Once you get here guys, gonna get a, a locker key. This is number 30 or 32. Yeah, it's locker key, it's just in the pipe work on the ceiling. Yeah, there you go. Shoot it down and grab the weapon parts beside it. Yeah, that's locker key 30 or 32. I know we could have easily got that locker key in new game. But the, the reason I left it is just because there's weapon parts beside it. 
and um, if you get them weapon parts in the new game it's 150 instead of 15 so that's the only reason I left there left that into um, new game plus and I know I could have gone down that little corner new game and new game plus but it, it just saved about what five seconds and we've got loads more weapon parts yes yeah, so now what you want to do guys is make your way through this area you're going to find some weapon parts on the way through this corridor I'll actually come back just pointing them out to you uh, but yeah once you get to the safe house at the end of this you're pretty much done we'll be heading to the police station for some nice upgrades Society abducted Lily and staged her death. Do you realize I'm crazy? Once out here, get them weapon parts from that shelf. Yep, there you go. Weapon parts times 200, guys. I gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, shit. This place was supposed to be fucking stable. Now, last file is going to be in here. I bet you've been wondering where last file is going to be. Yeah, it's in here. I leave this for New Game Plus just because of the weapon parts inside it as well. Saves us coming in here twice. Yes, there you go. Guys, file number 40 or 40. Report 532 displacement protocols. You got a trophy, diligent reader. Yep, and then get the weapon parts. You should find weapon parts times 250 and weapon parts times 50, uh, 150. Yeah, so diligent reader, you should have got you guys that trophy for collecting all the files. And then coming here into the safe house, you have this little scene again with Hoffman. Yeah, what we're going to do now, we're going to grab weapon parts times 200. And we're going to grab some more red gel and then some more high grade parts. Yeah, the red gel should be here somewhere there. It is on that chair. Yeah, but the high grade weapon parts is actually in the next area. There's some weapon parts there as well. Weapon parts times 200. Grab them. And then excellent marrow, guys, and get into the next safe house. <laughs> Yeah, once you're in this one, you can get the high grade weapon parts. There they are. The last one. And that's actually 15 of 16. We're going to get the last high grade weapon parts from the locker. And you can also find weapon parts times 400. Now, before you go in the mirror, make sure you have space for a space to craft. So make sure that nothing 
is it a maximum stock? If it is, go outside, use some ammo, and if you need to use any healing items, go outside, find the enemies, turn off invincibility, let the enemies damage you, and then choose a healing item. Yeah, make sure nothing is at max stock because if it, if it is, you're not going to be able to craft that particular item. Okay, so um, yeah, you're coming to the mirror, guys. You might want to save your game here in case you just want to get everything back, which we're going to use. Yeah, so what we're going to do first, we're going to try and do the shooting range first. But first of all, we want to buy a particular upgrade, which is going to make it mega, mega easy. Um, but you actually need to come over here anyway first before the shooting range will become available. Yeah, you have to come and sit in the chair first to begin with. Uh, just get this little scene out of the way. And you want to go into your, yeah, character upgrade, combat, and you're going to buy synaptic focus for 75,000 and um, one red gel. Yeah, what that does, it lets you slow down time. It will use your stamina. But because you've got infinite stamina, it means you can infinitely slow down time. And so during the shooting range, yeah, you can just play the shooting range in slow motion, making it mega, mega easy. Yeah, so come into combat and unlock synaptic focus, guys. You'll get a trophy you got red in you. That's for using your first red gel. Yep, once you've bought that upgrade, you can come through here and um, then you want to come over to the projector and you want to play all 10 slides. Yeah, basically slide number 11, it appears after playing the first 10. Yeah, so just play, you can play then skip, play then skip, just do it to all of them. The cat does get green gel for you after each one. Um, but what I normally do, I just I just do them all, and then the green gel will just reappear. Once you've played all ten, all the green gel which you haven't picked up will disappear. But don't worry, it does spawn back as you'll see it will for me. So play them all, guys, and then follow the cat to get um, slide number eleven, and then come back and play it. Hey, Kidman. What? Kidman, it's me. Kidman, come in. Kidman. Yes. You around, Kidman? No goodies for me this time, huh? What is it? You want me to follow you? Want me to sit in the chair? Congratulations, Sebastian. You've almost completed the inner journey that you began so long ago. You have faced down your own demons. You have risked great harm to emerge triumphant. But there is still a memory that you've refused to confront. What do you mean? Here, this will help you. Joseph. That's it guys, once you've played number 11, you'll get that trophy, uh, chatting with Kidman, talk to Kidman about all of the slides, and you can pick up all the screen gel afterwards. And then what you wanna do now, you want to exit the station and then come back in. You have to do this to make shooting range appear. There it is. Yeah, so once it's appeared, you wanna come in, and now we're gonna do a shooting range now. Now you need to do every single course in the shooting range except for the easy one. The EC is the one which starts, it starts first. It's the one that automatically begins. Yeah, but you can press circle to quit it so you don't have to do it. Probably saves a few minutes. Um, but if you do it, you will get weapon parts times 500. 
So if you want some extra weapon parts, just do this first part. It's very easy, all you need to do, during the shooting range, just press a button to slow down time, and then just go for headshots, try not to miss. Very easy. Yeah, I think you press, when you're aiming, I think you press L2 to slow down time. And then you just press it again to activate it or trigger it. Or it might be a different button, I can't quite remember. Yeah, but the ones you want to do, you need to do normal. You need to do normal, hard, and very hard. So these are very easy, guys. Just do the gallery mode first, and I'll come back on chain attack mode. And I'll just give you my tips for that. Yeah, so do normal, hard, and very hard on um, gallery mode. Get the unlockables. You'll need the weapon parts of green gel and the locker key which you'll get here, yeah, you get locker key number 31 of 32 from the very hard of gallery mode. You're the best around. You're the best or Wow, nice shooting. I'm impressed. Yeah, your credit to the force. Wouldn't swap you for anybody else. 
Yeah, so um, once you've done gallery mode, guys, next is chain attack mode. Yeah, so this one's a little bit different. You can't quite cheat this one as easy as the um, gallery mode. But the way I do this is you'll find once you've got so many of the same colour linked together, they'll start shaking. And what it means when they start shaking is that when you shoot them, it'll make a timer appear. And that's what you need to do. Basically, keep making the timers appear, shoot them uh, to obviously get more time and um, what you find once you shoot a panel the panels above will fall down and take its place and that's how you, you try to sort of link up more and um, but what I normally try and do I I start off shooting the first color wait for them to shake get the first timer and then whatever color that timer because when you shoot a timer it will change the panels next to it into a certain color and I normally just go with that color so I I link the first panels shoot them when they're shaking, get the first timer, shoot that timer, whatever colour that timer changes the panels to beside it, then I start trying to um, link up all that colour. Get the timer down, shoot the timer again, link up the next colour. Wait till they shake, shoot them, get another timer, and just keep doing that guys. Obviously the big red X's, don't shoot them. Obviously they're gonna decrease your score. And yeah, just keep doing that. To speed it up, you don't. You, I guess you could constantly just leave slow motion on, but it's going to make it very slow. What I normally do is um, I put slow motion on when I'm about to shoot, just to give me a bit more time to aim, because my accuracy is pretty bad, pretty bad. Yep. Yeah, um, while while I'm waiting for them to drop in, that's when I turn it off. Yep, and that's pretty much it, guys. So hit a color, timer, color, timer, color, timer. Just keep doing it like that.
yeah once you've done gallery mode and you've got over 100,000 score yeah because that's what you need to get to get all the rewards for um sorry chain attack mode yeah you need to get over 100,000 score okay. yep you'll get loads of goodies you'll get the final locker key which you need number 32 of 32 you get green gel weapon parts yeah loads so what we're going to do now now we've got all the locker keys we're going to open every single locker guys for a trophy you also find high grade weapon parts in here and some loads of green gel and some more red gel now do not take anything from this locker remember we need to make sure we don't have full stock of everything so that we've got space to do some crafting later so all you want to do from the, from the lockers only take gunpowder the green gel and weapon parts and obviously the red gel and high grade weapon parts as well yes do not take any ammo or healing items only gunpowder red gel and weapon parts and green gel of course that's all you want to take so do all that open both lo all the lockers guys you'll get the trophies half the stash that's for opening half and you also get a trophy locksmith that's for opening them all I see you're in need of my services again. You are getting powerful, but this place is dangerous and getting worse. There's no shame in using stealth. Yep, next up guys is to purchase every single character upgrade. You should have plenty to do this, you'll have plenty off green gel left over. You're even gonna have red gel left, I think. One uh, one red gel remaining. Yeah, so literally just purchase every single character upgrade. And um, once you've done so, yep, you'll pop the trophy, stick it in my veins, completely, up, completely upgraded all abilities. And then once you've done that, guys, we're gonna head over to the workbench. Congratulations, you're as good as you're going to get. Now you can stop gathering up all that green gel. Yeah, what we'll do at the workbench, we're gonna craft a sniper rifle, and that should give you the powerhouse trophy. That's for crafted, that's for basically obtaining every single weapon. Yeah, there you go, powerhouse. For obtaining every single weapon, guys. If it didn't pop, it's because you missed one somewhere, but hopefully you followed me well and you haven't missed any at all. And now what we need to do guys is craft everything. The reason I backed out and then came back in is because normally after crafting the sniper rifle, 
you normally have to exit and then come back in for the sniper rifle ammo to appear to craft. Yeah, now you just have to craft everything. If you already crafted shock bolt and smoke bolt like we have, you wouldn't have to craft them. You got a trophy, handyman. That's for crafting everything. And then what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna fully upgrade everything now. You should just have enough weapon parts. I think I've got 150 remaining. If you need a bit more, if you do the easy course on the shooting range on gallery mode, you'll get an extra 500. So I give you like an extra 500 to play with, but yeah, I have got a little bit more. So as long as you follow me well, um, you should have plenty remaining. Like I say, you've got extra on the shooting range if you need it. Once you've done these, you should get the trophies, a little extra kick to it. That's upgrading one off your warden crossbow bolts to max level. And you also get a trophy they never even stood a chance. That's for completely upgrading all weapons. Yep, and that will be it guys for, yep, that's 50 of 52 trophies. All you need to do now is play through cl classic difficulty, complete it, and actually platinum. Yeah, I just go through my trophies, go over them, just show you what I've got, and show the order I collected them all in. Remember, there is my text guide if you just want to check everything. Um, but just one thing, the reason why the trophy forum um, finding all the mysterious objects, I actually forgot to pick up the last one and I had to edit it in. But luckily I had an autosave there, um, so I, I loaded an autosave and I managed to just go back in the house, grab that last mysterious object. That's that's basically why you're gonna see it after the ending trophies, even though while watching me, you did see me get it just before the ending. Yeah, I just forgot to pick it up, I had to edit, edit it in. But yeah, these are all the trophies in the rough order, I got them all in. Yeah, so all you gotta do new now guys, is new game plus, uh, sorry, new game, and classic difficulty and I'm not going to be talking flat all you got to do is get through the game nothing at all to collect and um, but on classic just remember you cannot there's no auto saves I can only save the game seven times Um once you're done here you might also want to make a save just in case you want to come back to the save for whatever reason yep so just quick game guys go back to the main menu and then once you're back here just start a new game Classic mode, very important. You need to do classic mode.
the only trophy we need is for completing class of difficulty. Yeah, so um just make sure you make you make a save before um chapter chapter six. Yeah, you make a save, yeah, classic mode. Yeah, you make a save just because remember in chapter six you've got that soft um that gooey monster which grabs you and if you don't shoot its arm quick enough, um it will instant kill you. So you want to save there. Um if you're on PS4, the game crashes quite a lot. It's quite common for game to crash in chapter seven if you're on PS4. So you might want to make a save there. Um you want to make a save during the cabin, just in case Taurus gets killed. Um during the fire walk uh, with Hoffman in case she gets killed. And you always want to make a save just before the final boss fight, Myra, in case she grabs you when you shoot her arm off and you don't destroy the arm in time and it instant kills you. Yeah, so that's four saves. So you've got three saves to play with if you want, which you might want to space out and um, just in case the game does crash for any reason um, and you have to retry or for whatever reason at all. And you've got to cheat, so it's going to be fairly easy, guys. you just got to get through the story. Um, but like I say, I'll leave this on. I was going to cut this bit of the video out just because... All we're doing is running through the game again. And but I'll leave it here just in case you just want to see how to get through it all quickly. It takes me about two hours, so it's not too long. Um but I hope the guys help guys. We've got almost all the trophies of five hours, just unfortunately we've got to do one more playthrough just for one trophy. Um but yeah, that's it. Every single trophy guys in just over seven hours. Not bad. We are using cheats. Um but yeah, I hope it helped guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video if you're going to watch the rest of Classic Difficulty. And um, I'll see you on the next one. I'm coming, Lily. Just hold on. I'm here, Lily. I'm here. Lily? Come on out! No. Sebastian? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed-up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was... an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. I know it's hard to accept Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. What the hell is this place? Detective, we've got a call. Hello? 
There are photos of a bunch of Mobius. A cat. I don't ever remember owning a cat. A mirror. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Here we go again. Into the looking glass. Is this the right place? What the? search team Baker someone tried to block the way out or in What's that? Shit. I gotta find a way out of here.
Where were you when I needed you? Maybe this is the right place. Lily, I hope you're here. What did I get myself into? Kidman? Sebastian, it is just a small, quiet town. Yeah, too quiet. Hello. now.
Mobius members. Some of them are still alive then. Damn. But those things are everywhere. Need to get in there and squeeze that guy for info. Closer. Okay, calm down. Don't shoot. I'm not gonna hurt you. So you're not. I'm look. Yeah, I'm done. They can who's look. If you're at this, is but I may. I detected some signals nearby that resonate at the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. Was that? I think so. No way to. How do I? Your commu. Once you're out, you'll probably. It wouldn't. No way. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way. I yeah. find this signal we mentioned. It looks pretty far away, but it's the only lead I've got. God, I hope it's Lily. If it keeps breaking apart like this, there won't be any union to search. I gotta try to find that signal. These lilies? Lily! Are you here? It's Dad. Where did she go? Lily. It's okay. It's me. Damn it. All right, calm down. 
How do I get in there? It's Lily's doll. She's been here. Lily. Oh my god, she's in trouble. Someone is chasing her. I should check out around back. See where that window comes out. <laughs> What the? Another signal. Good. I'm coming, sweetheart. Just hang in there. Let's try this again. few days old. Hope it's not Lily's. Thank God. It looks like she stopped here to hide. Must be in that warehouse. Smart girl. 
Lots of good places to hide. Hopefully that did the trick. Probably crawled through here. Gotta get through. She's a brave and resourceful little girl. Okay. I just gotta find her. Another doll. But where's Lily? Uh. Him. The murderer with the camera. And the son of a bitch has my little girl. I was so close. Damn it! Calm down. Think. I gotta save her. No more signals coming into this communicator. I need to find another way. O'Neill. Not sure I can trust him, but he wants out of here as bad as I want to find Lily. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. I hope I can reach O'Neill this time. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. You're still... Thank you. 
see one of these in a while. You made it not sh now. Union, most of the, but their pack, we call it, it doesn't fortunate, but it's a Where's the, all marked, looks like, once you're in, that should take, you could have, maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. The passage, my community, you'd never make it through alive without this. Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Thanks for saving the worst for last, O'Neill. Based on what we, you're not helping. Anything else? <laughs> Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. Kidman, can you hear me? So this is the computer O'Neill was talking about. Let's try that password. Emergency lockdown procedures are currently in effect. Lockdown can be disengaged by tuning to the frequency on your communicator. Might as well give it a try. Emergency lockdown deactivated. Please wait for system reboot of each annex. Stand by. Recreation area emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Emergency lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots.
Security index and lockdown disengaged. Please wait while system reboots. Jesus, the smell. So this is the dreaded get. Thanks, O'Neill. I'd never make it through without this thing. Flammable. Damn. That means I can't rely on my firearms. did something. Uh, thank God, that mask smelled terrible. Here it is, my way back into Union. This must be City Hall. Gotta stop this guy and save Lily.
is that? Not sure I'm ready for this. I can't turn back now. Yeah, just you wait, asshole. Is that it's okay? Oh, don't worry. I am looking this, this minute. You might without turn it on. His power. You mean take this? Use it to turn on the emitter. Another team member down. Wish I could have gotten more info. Don't worry, Lily. I'm still gonna find you. What's this about? What's this? This camera's so old. Must be something. Appreciate the art. Fine. As long as it gets me closer to you, I'll play your game. That's Lily. This guy's playing with me.
Another one. But what's he after? This has to be the emitter. Authorization required. Please connect an authorized terminal. Terminal? Must mean this communicator. Restart sequence initiated. Meet my beautiful obscura. Restart sequence. You gotta be kidding me. Sequence will complete in 90 seconds. That thing is stopping the emitter from activating. my own ass but what am i supposed to do now if he's gone he didn't leave lily here where did he take her should give kibben an update about this shit maybe i'll get a signal outside <laughs> I can't believe these bastards use Lily like some kind of science experiment. And then they have the nerve to send me in to clean up their mess? It's like some kind of sick joke. Thanks. 
Gotta figure out where he took her. I think I might have just figured it out. Not doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. O'Neill, it's... This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Lily? Oh, this place is messing with my mind. Stop and listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you... Gotta get the hell out of here. This place was supposed to be fucking stable. Looks like someone's enjoying the show. Someone's been watching. 
So there's that means the I have with the old the big and I think he's right. That means we dock, but in this a sec this is your sack but they're made they don't care. Can you think of Yeah. Then maybe the destroying I'll keep that he's holding right. Let's pair I'll review I still regardless. Feel free to The theater. I'm coming for you. The hell are these things about? Damn it. Lily's inside there. theory to the test. Sounds like someone's in trouble. This is his art? It's just a photo. I'm gonna stab the shit out of you. This should get me close to that art. Hopefully I'm done with those things for a while. about destroying these things. Here we go.
destroying that freak's work was actually therapeutic. But I'm not done yet. One more. That's both of them. Should have done the trick. Better head back to the theater and see if I can get in. Just like them, thinking they could sculpt me into what I am not. What they created in here, it's marvelous. They wasted it because they had no imagination. Because they are not artists. 
They want to control me, manipulate me. You want to stop me. But you have failed. Because with the power of the core, I can create my art forever. You cannot have her! You would do nothing with her power. You are an uncomprehending hand of all. She's useless in your hands. I'm coming for you, asshole. Absorption of her powers, the subjugation of her will. It will be art in every sense of the word. But what is art without an audience? Come on, show me what you've got. That's not how it's going to end. Your death will be art. Time to put a signature on it. What is this? Where's the mirror?
is this place? Looks like I can use this. Why? You refuse to see. It's all my fault. You are a failure. Your daughter is lost because of you. You couldn't save her. You hold the key to ease your door. I can guide you to the lock. Who are you? What do you want with me?
Stefano defied me, became a thorn in my side, a thorn which you removed. For that, you will be rewarded. Stefano. This guy knew him. Until they're dead or we run out of ammo. What the hell is going on here? We can talk later. Just focus on staying alive. Stop me. Looks like you've done this before. Too many times to count. Grab some supplies while you can. I can hear more coming. All right. But I'm getting some answers when this is all over. noise. Oh, shit. Watch out! Shit! This thing just won't stop coming! Oh, what are these things? Doesn't matter. Just kill them. I think that's the last of them.
Thanks. And who are you? No time for 20 questions. My safe house isn't too far. We can talk on the way there. Come on. Take whatever you need inside. I'll be out here. Try to stay quiet. There might be more of those things. You can at least tell me how you know my name. Kidman told me to keep an eye out for you. Kidman? Uh, she said she would try to get your help if the plan went to shit. And here you are, so... Wait. I'm lost. What plan? Getting Lily out of here. And then... Taking Mobius down for good. Wait a second. What is it? Shit. Let me guess. The way back to your safe house? There might be another way. Come on. Wait, hold on. Your plan. Kidman didn't say anything about that. Yeah, well, I'm sure she wasn't able to debrief you on that in front of everybody. Over here! One of us has got a lift while the other one crawls through. Got it. I'll just... Uh, get under! Whoa, you all right? Let get me help. Get your ass through before I drop it on your head! Okay, I've got it. Uh, thanks. You need a break after that, old man? Come on. I'm not that old. So you're telling me Kidman had a plan to take out Mobius all this time? Actually, it was your wife's plan. Wait, Myra? So that's why she's here. She's part of Mobius. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Gonna have to duck. Don't blow your back out. This isn't the time, Torres. You know, you should be proud of your wife. She's compelling. She recruited me for this plan. I don't understand. Why would she join them? She found out they had Lily, and knew the only way to take them down was from the inside. So she joined up and waited for the right moment. All these years. That's where she was. Damn it. This is a lot to take in. I'm sure it is, but let's not lose focus. We've got to get over this. Can you help me? Yeah, of course. Ready? Hold on, I've got you. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Hey, you just gonna forget about me? What, you thought I'd leave you hanging like that? You're a part of the plan now. The plan. Right. Who else was involved in this little mutiny? Just four of us. Me, Kidman, Myra, and Theodore. Theodore? Father Theodore? Father Theodore? I just call him Theodore Wallace. You know him? We've met. But he doesn't want to save Lily. He wants her for himself. Tried to talk me into hunting down Myra, too. He's the one who screwed everything up. How is this whole thing supposed to go? Once Myra and Theodore got Lily, Theodore and I were gonna get her out while Myra stayed behind to take care of Mobius. Kidman stayed outside and make sure we got out of Stem safely. Shit, it was supposed to be easy. Nothing's ever easy. What is it? Shh. Quick, follow me.
so much for your safe house. I wouldn't put my safe house in the open like that. It's hidden, but we've got to get past those things to get there. You see that red banner behind that building? Yeah. The hatch to my safe house is under it. Okay, I'll take the lead. Stay low and keep behind me. Right, but listen, I've seen these things before. Don't get near them while they're on fire. <laughs> One way to do it. I was maybe expecting a little bit more stealth. There's no place like home, but a safe house runs a close second. Listen, don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. They're as safe as cookie dough. At least until I arm them. So what are we gonna do about Theodore? I don't know. He's high. I should be... What? Yeah, she's... She's high, and he'll tip if I can... So the plan... Yeah. How are you gonna... O'Neill help, but I better get... Right. She's probably... Sebastian? Where have you been? Did you find Stefano? I did more good. She's the good news. Her that is good. So what's the bad? The bad and he needs. Damn. I'll send some Kimi post. I know. I trust you. Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. You should stay here and get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian. <laughs> Let's hope the marrow is still there. Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on her. Hoffman, you here? Another one of these. What happened here? safe house to go to a restricted area of the Merrill? That doesn't sound like him.
Looks like they had extra security for this place. All these tanks. What's this about? through without one of those chips. Gotta be one around here somewhere. He's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. Voices. Liam, but he wasn't. I tried. Theodore, poor guy. You didn't have to. What now? Let's take. I think it's. Yes, master. So you know Theodore Wallace? Of course. He's head of recruitment. But what's he doing in STEM? And why is he doing this? There's a lot going on that you don't know about. Theodore wants Lily for himself. You saw what he did to O'Neill. He'll do that to everybody in here if he has to. He'll tear this place apart to get his hands on her. I can't let that happen. What is it? I'm not totally sure, but it looks a hell of a lot like the stable field emitter. Whatever it is, O'Neill said to destroy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Have you finished? I have. Good. Got it. I'm 
almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. Tell me. Is that a light like and it's red? I'm good to. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick Ass happening in three, two, one. Are you okay, Torres? Torres? Where'd you? You want to find your beloved daughter? Go there. See if it's everything you dreamt of. Here. Forgive her. Not like you. Not like you. She tried to tell you. But you were too stupid to listen. No. No. No, this isn't right. Myra's succeeding where you fail. You refused to listen. You lost them both. And then became lost yourself. Do you know anything about me? Myra understood that goals can be achieved by submission, by joining. to find her. Come on, man. Let's get you out of here.
You can't let him get to you. You gotta... You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you all right? You've been working, You've been working too, too hard. hard. It's, making it's making you delirious. You delirious. <sighs> Myra? <sighs> Torres, where? I'm home. How did I? That letter, Myra's last communication, it was hidden with her files. It sounded so crazy at the time, but I should have believed her. My dearest Sebastian. She's right. She's always been right. Theodore uses my own guilt against me. But guilt for what? It's their fault, not mine. They took everything from me. I didn't start any of this, but I'm gonna finish it. And God help anybody that stands in my way. Wake up, Sebastian! Oh. What? Hoffman? What happened? She brought you here. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I tried to save her, but... No. I shot her. The bullet wound was superficial. She died from injuries sustained in a battle with those things. Damn it. She didn't have to die like that. She was a good soldier. She just wanted to save Lily. And now she's dead. It's all my fault. No, Sebastian. It's not your fault. Don't let him do this to you. You're right. That goddamn son of a bitch. This is what he wants. Trying to make me feel guilty. But he's the one who did this, not me. He's the guilty one. Okay. That's the problem. What do you mean? I picked this up on the Theodore's drop, but it's surrounded. Shit. I think that there. I found. Great. It's not quite. Okay. I'll go check. Okay. A few more things.
shit. That really is a stronghold. What's going on in their spat? Tell us clear, Hoffman. Well, here it is. What is it? It's a portal. It creates a house. It's circum. Big enough. That's the last. I can't let. So it's the only way. It's the only. Who's gonna help you? You know, just. Of course, I. That you. You might want to prepare. Are you ready? So All right. Okay. carry and operate it from here it should protect us from the fire but it won't stop those things in there from trying to kill us don't worry I'll take care of them here goes nothing it's working just make sure to stay inside the dome come on I can't see anything through these flames. Just keep an eye out for those things and follow me. I know the way. One's coming through. I got him. Watch your back, Hoffman. That's what you're here for! Good thing. They're everywhere. to keep us out. Good. That means he's afraid. Don't stop now. We're almost there. Hold on. Something wrong with the stabilizer. Can you fix it? I'm working on it. Watch my back. That was close. I told you it was temperamental! Are you 
regretting this yet? This is my chance to make up for what I did to Lily. And all the others I helped put in STEM. So no, I don't regret it. is burning. Just gotta get through this. Hoffman, what's happening? It's failing again. Hold on. Hurry up. It's getting hot in here. After all of this, I'm the only one left, but he's not gonna stop me. gonna get to me. Control Union. It's not even real. Union is better than we have. Union is soulless. Their minds are connected to it. To control Union is to control them. To control them is to control the world. If you think I'm gonna help an asshole like you take over assholes like them, you're even crazier than your luck.
for this shit! This will stop me. There's almost nothing left of this place. What are you trying to do, Myra?
damn it. Myra, where did you go? What is this? Myra! Shit. What is she trying to do? Gotta get rid of these things. Maybe then I can get to her. All right. I hope she hasn't gone far. Can't let her take Lily. Is that... our house? She must be there. I can't stop now. when it happened when this place started to fall apart
Stop this! Think about what you're doing! I... I don't want to do this to you, Myra! Gotta get to the house. Security personnel report to the control room. All security personnel. Need to hurry before more show up. Don't Shit! Let her get away. Shit! 
staying behind. You know why. Okay. We don't have much time. I'm counting on you, Kidman. Don't worry, Lily. We're almost there. <laughs> 